just for you and no. Let the children cry for starvation just to do for. You want to get a news update, my brother, to do for. You want to know what is happening, my brother, to do for. Politicians want to make their decision just to do for. You want to know what happening in the ministry to do for. Yeah, 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 Skidibidi Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A special one from the CEOs. Then coming with the spoon. And your boy, right at the south of the Charge it. It's on the beat. Spoon will not tell you what is happening in Liberia. Spoon will not tell you what is happening in Morovia. Spoon will not tell you what is happening in Africa. Africa. Just to toss spoon, oh, to toss spoon, you will know. Did the children cry for starvation just to toss spoon? You want to get a news update, my brother, to toss spoon. You want to know what is happening, Morocco to toss spoon. Politicians want to make their decision just to toss spoon. You want to know what happened in the ministry to the spoon? Yeah, 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 to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. You from Fonjama, Maryland, to the spoon. Yeah, 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 to the spoon. If you eat the pan, gradually, my brother, to the spoon. You got a spoon TV, you got a spoon radio, two to spoon. Yeah, 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 two to spoon. You want to get a news update, two to spoon. Wap, wap, yeah, Rastafara. Kili baba, kili baba, kili baba, kili baba, kili baba, kili baba. Watch out, go on. This one you got today, oh. Yes. 
so they say love is blind that that's what they say that's what people say that love is blind um whichever way you want to interpret that whether love sees no wrong whether love you know has got a blind eye to whatever red flags whatever the case is people say love is blind you can you can probably ex explain that yourself uh, from your own understanding as to why they say love is blind uh, but it, but in this case what's happening in liberia these days is that love not only blind but love can smell yeah <laughs> yeah love not only blind in liberia but these days the trend that we've seen on social media you know love can smell now is from trash to goodies mm -hmm. yeah the trend we see in on social media now is that librarian women those that are involved in the trend have said all of that are wearing the clean clothes yo baba you can break hats as soon as they kind of run you after some time you know they expect that those in the clean clothes will be good fellows and all that kind of thing but you're just breaking their heart making them to cry and all kinds of things so this time now they're going to the ghetto and to the dump pack, you know, to take their men from there and polish them. You say, you say, oh, you know how the, the, the mineral can be, it can be dirty, and we got the diamond in the dirt. <laughs> yeah. They're going in the dirt now to go take the men from there and say, look, ghetto superstar, I will tell you where I'm, may you to my own, may you fair but too, you know, like that. May clean and shining. Let's say them are treating you like a crystal story. Oh, no, no, they're not treating you like a crystal story. But they're saying, look, we'll go in the ghetto, we'll go to the dumper, send a clean clothes men and now they're not treating our fan. We'll go there and go take destitute men who got real love for women in their heart. But in the ghetto, they can't make it. They only the dumper, they can make it. We'll bring it, we'll shine it, men and our own. But realistically, though, how you're feeling? How you're feeling? I went clean clothes, kosu, neta, everything. Our sister and then leaving your and going in the, in the, in the you know, to the dump to go take men from there. To your said, are you feeling good? Mm? Fair body. How you're feeling? But anyway, men are men. You can find men from one tree. You can find men from places. So that's what's happening. And we're looking at this trend, you know, um, following this trend and see how successful it will be. But <clears throat> if the clean clothes want to fear you, go to the dead clothes want to take them for one of the and clean them, you know, and make, and, and, and make them into what you want them to be. At the end of the day, we'll definitely be following up how it's going to turn out. But anyway, that's what it is. Good evening, pleasant night to you, wherever it is. Um, you're listening to us from across Liberia. This is your premier nighttime show. This is Liberia's biggest talk. This is the Spoon Talk, live here across the Spoon Network. We're live on Spoon 107.5, FM Fabric 101.1, Super 95.5, you know, and a host of other stations relaying us across Liberia, including 10 Radio in Grand Crew County, uh, Radio Beshu, as uh, well as... Um, Radio Gibi in Ma Gibi County. We're also live on Premium FM there in Bone County for our people in Central Liberia to follow Liberia's most informative show. Of course, this is the Spoon Talk. Um, wherever it is, um, you're welcome. Today promises to be another great edition of um, your your preferred um, show here in Liberia, the Spoon Talk. Wherever it is that you um, listening to us from we love to welcome you as well for those of you listening to us all across liberia um we love to say a pleasant night to you a lot's going to be discussed today prime on the agenda will be the issue of the gsc report the panelists uh along with former ceo stento alexander witherspoon definitely going to um to speak to that particular topic is a trendy news all across the country 40 million 20 million what kind of million who left what and how come what's the audit report from the general auditing agency the gac that's going to be discussed on the show uh, but before that i don't know what really really happening there needs to be an investigation and we are going to make sure that our investigation is carried out and concluded there is something happening that we need to speak about. It's turning into a growing trend. And the way it's going now, uh, it ain't looking fair. Yeah. The way it's going, it ain't looking fair. I'm looking for 
one of the pieces of evidence to share this particular situation that is ongoing we have to speak to it and it needs to stop otherwise <laughs> we'll see something that we're supposed to see <laughs> <laughs> so just give me a minute um, and i'll definitely upload this as to what's going on who's doing this who has orchestrated this particular plan why why are they doing this but anyways uh information reaching us and we'll definitely be following up on that information as well is that businesses and business owners merchants alike have started to refuse the liberian dollars bank notes in the wake of the CBL's um, pronouncement that they will be recalling um, Series 1 and Series 2 from the market on the 31st of March, which is the deadline. But it is being reported that um, business owners have started refusing Liberian dollars. So in our way of providing information to you and you providing information to us as well, um, we'll open the phone lines for a couple of minutes when, when you're about to tell us what's on your mind. Tell us if you have experienced that as well and we'll tell you what you need to do to exchange your Liberian dollars bank notes. If you already do not know, we'll provide you that information. All you need to do is to um, take your Liberian dollars, whether you're keeping it on your bay, there will be no mop-up for that. All you need to do is to if it's below 10,000 Liberian dollars, take the money to the nearest bank for them to give you the series that will be in use after the 31st of March. As it is, businesses shouldn't be refusing, you know, the series that will be taking off the market from due to the central bank recalling and for us to use one set of Liberian dollars bank note. But to save yourself all of that, if your money is below 10,000 Liberian dollars, hmm? Your packet, clink, 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 clink. You carry it to any bank around you. Let them exchange it for the one that will be in circulation. If it's above 10,000 Liberian dollars, according to the Central Bank of Liberia, you should open a bank account and get your money exchanged there. You know, but if it's below 10,000, to save yourself all of the drama that, oh, I carry to Musa in refuse or I carry to Umuru in refuse or I carry to Mantene. People are afraid. They don't want the money to be stuck in their hands after the 31st deadline. So what you do is just carry your money to any nearby bank and say, yeah, please exchange it for me. If it's below 10,000 Liberian dollars, they should do it for you. If it's above 10,000 Liberian dollars, well, what you need to do is open a bank account. But if you do not want to open a bank account, then carry small, small. So you can be 10,000 and above. You can get 9,900. You can get 9,000 like that. And you exchange your money so that you don't be caught up in all of this. But it's been reported that business owners, you know, have started refusing the Liberian dollars bank notes that will be recalled from, the, from circulation on the 31st of March. I'm trying to get you guys what I really want to share um, before we open the phone lines, but it's proving to be a difficult tax at this moment. So give me a minute or two as I'm trying to do that. I'll be recognizing some of our folks that are um, watching us all around the world as I'm trying to get this piece of information to share with you. Whoever is doing this, <laughs> and again, <laughs> yeah, somebody wants to see samples of the bank notes okay i'm going to show you the samples of the bank notes as well um for if you're watching so you know which ones will be recalled and um, what will remain in circulation so let me share that with you as well and i'll give a vivid description for those listening to us via the radio um to know what exactly we're talking about here all right let me see if i can get all of that for you okay so these are the series um, that will be removed from the market. And um, this is the series that will remain in circulation. So let me just share that with you as I'm trying to get the other information um, to share with you as well. So, all right. So it's self-explanatory because it's got access on them. The ones that will be out of circulation. All right. But the ones that will remain in circulation all right, so they want it. Well, you'll see this series. The 500 note 
I get a three men on it. Well, the hippopotamus at the back. That 500 note on the 31st of uh, March is going to be decommissioned. They will not be in use again. They will not be in circulation. You seen it? Like the 500 people are really scared of. The 500, I get a three men on it. Well, the hippopotamus at the back. That 500 on the 31st of March, that 500 is no longer going to be in circulation. So all you need to do is to go to any bank, commercial bank. What do you get account there? You don't get account there. Just walk there and say, look, please help me to exchange my Liberian dollars. So they found a note, the 100, the 50, the 20, the 10, and the 5, the ones that were printed. Not the last batch of money that are printed during the we are in Ellen terms, no. The ones that were printed before the last batch, that one and going. They're going. All right. The Emerson one, now they exchange, they done they change the liberty from the green, green fafa that we were using that time. When they brought in the pink fala, blue ten dollar, brown twenty dollar, another pinkish looking fifty dollars, and green hundred dollars. Remember that series, right? When they change the lower tape on the five like burn down, then we used to get the lower tape in big, big bag name. And they change it first to that new type of money, the one they call the unity. And now we call it Liberian dollars for short. They change it now one and two. So if you get it, maybe you might want to keep just a sample for future reference to show to your children, your grandchildren, and all of the kind of money they were using before. But if you've got it in large quantity, Carry it to any commercial bank if it's below ten thousand dollars. They will change it right to the counter. If it's above ten thousand dollars, Liberty, you have to open an account. That series, they're going. On the thirty-first of March, that particular series, they're going. Good. So remember that though. So you have to work within time. Now, the ones that will remain in circulation, now the newest set of bank notes that were printed. The newest set of bank notes that were printed, the last batch of bank notes that were printed, and that includes the one thousand dollar liberty that is going to remain in circulation. The new twenty dollars will remain in circulation, and we know that the five and the ten, the coins, the new fifty dollars will remain in circulation. I get a man brushing on the front. You got President Doe at the back. You get a man brushing. That will remain in 50 that will remain in circulation. The new hundred dollars will also remain in circulation. The 500 I get a women sewing a flag. Not a three hair men. The one that got the women showing the flag. Mm? The sewing the flag. That one it remain in circulation. When you carry the enemy, they say they holding say not true. Even now, they shouldn't even be refusing the money. The 500 I get a women sewing a flag. With the hip at the back, a remaining in circulation. Then the one thousand dollar bank notes that get the county max, the tribal, the traditional max on the front, and then the capital bidding at the back, a remaining in circulation. But again, pata pata, you want to carry your lay money to any commercial bank. Somebody asks, what about counties that do not have commercial banks? I'm sure they have loans and saving clubs, and the central bank is going to come up with a mechanism, you know, to have those monies exchanged for them to be taken out of circulation. They should have points and, and stations that people can go and exchange their money. What I know of, there is a central bank hub in Bong County that serves central Liberia. So those places that have Susu Club, Saving and Loan Club, Macro Finance, and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure they're helping in the process as well. We'll do our best to see if we can get folks on the Central Bank of Liberia um, either this week or next week to speak more to this particular issue. All right. So that is why we're giving you this information so that you know what to do. But we've gotten information that people have started refusing the monies because they don't want them to remain in their hands uh, before the 31st of March. Okay um this is i wanted to share something with you quickly before the former ceo and the rest of the guys come on board um, to begin the show in details but this is what is happening i don't know who who commissioned this 
but that person needs to be investigated as to why they decided to commission this yeah so a liberian <laughs> some people just get jaffe a liberian artist you know artists like in draw walked gracefully <laughs> to our offices here in congo town and said look i've come to present this gift that gift <laughs> that gift yeah <laughs> like who on it like who on it poetry <laughs> Uh, we need to investigate. Why are you ready? Where to get gift or not? He said, You need to present this gift, this portrait. Eh? Like gift, yeah? <coughs> ah, yeah. <coughs> and then we'll boom, brother. Okay, you will speak to this. Well, uh, now you want us to hang this up. <laughs> Some people just bar. <laughs> Some people, they just bar. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, he bring gift. I gave that. Eh? Only thing is that you can you can look at the person already and then and say we can't accept your gift now. Oh boy, if I'm going to be here, I'm going to die. Say we can't accept, we can't accept this particular gift. But anyways, uh, that's just to keep us up to speed. You know, uh, break the ice a bit as we wait the rest of the panelists to 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 come on board so that we have a wonderful show. But look at the gift the men. The men, the men saying talk a ton. He pay away. And he came. You know. Nelly, you can take things too serious in the in the way. Yeah, you're too serious. You're a serious student and you go to your serious class. Everything I bully. Oh, you bully, you bully the person. Like gay, but then we look at that page of doing bully our boss, man. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the phone lines and um you tell us exactly what's on your mind. 0 777 uh, Those are the numbers to call so that you can tell us what's on your mind, you know, uh, what's happening in the country. The audit report is out from the GAC. Uh, the war crimes court has ruffled a lot of fellows. It has ruffled a lot of fellows. Uh, we had the Grand Jida County Senator Thomas Yaya Nimley on the show on last night and of course many fellows have been ruffled the senate has sent the resolution the war crimes code resolution to committee room you know that the committee on judiciary and security should advise plenary you know in two weeks as to the way to proceed so it has reached the senate but they in turn has now sent it to their committee rooms to say look the committee on judiciary the committee on security should go and review this resolution you know and come and tell plenary give their report in two weeks so we'll definitely be following up on that as well but what's what's, what's going on people refusing the librarian dollars bank notes the president is in ivory coast um yes he is in ivory coast he departed the country on today um he's in ivory coast i'll just flash you this boom break on the rest of the guys are going to um, talk about this. Uh, the president is in Ivory Coast, as you can see, wearing the orange sash. You know, Cote d'Ivoire, they are colors orange. And um, a lot know that electricity is going to be high on the agenda. Uh, we'll be following up on the president's trip. It's, we've been told it's a one day trip to Cote d'Ivoire <laughs> as well. So let's go to the phone lines. Um, 0 triple seven 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 one zero seven five zero triple five one zero one zero seven five if you've got the experience of your librarian dollars bank notes being refused by traders and business people business owners uh, explain to us and tell us now you do know what you have to do if you want to exchange your librarian dollars bank notes one minute per caller so that at least we can take as many colors as possible hello yeah hello good evening nelson adamo your chief nelson can sound oh, different Adamo. yeah good evening pleasant night to you sir how are you I'm okay. What's on your yes. mind? Yes, sir. What is on your mind, boss man? Yeah, thank you. Uh, there are so many things. Let me just say thanks to the president for the boss for commissioning the the audit about the the missing money so that we can be able to see how best those stored up. Country money can be 
retrieve. So there are many things that he's doing. So I want to say thank you to him. And also, for Korean miracles, carrying a LEC boss there to see our best. We can be able to settle our LEC issues so that we can have a safe electricity where our investor can be able to come to our country. Okay. So our electricity, there can be no investor to come. Thank I you. I want to say hard stuff to him. Thanks ever so much. You're welcome. You guys, thanks also. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, let's take this person here. Hello. Okay. Take this person. Hello. Hello. Yes, let's hear you out. Yeah. Good evening. Pleasant night my to you. Name is, my name is David Ramada, and I'm calling from District Number Three. You're welcome, Chief. Let's hear you out. Thank you. Let me say thanks to the All Market for giving strength to JMB, and I want to wish you well as you be this uh, look, last night when I listened to that senator from Nigeria, and I felt discouraged. Mm. The only thing that came to my mind, the reason why you listen to some of these guys speaking the way they speak, is because the issue of impunity has just been something that we take to, 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 I mean, to just be something that we say about Christmas. Mm -hmm. So many bad things have been done and put our call impunity. So on the president is said, this will talk on this one above. So I am telling JNB, the access recovery, the Oakland code, the tie of face, you don't know nobody. So you don't know nobody when you see anybody on the road there. So long that person is involved in some contested deed. Mm. Tell the police, now he will call you. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, folks asking whether or not the president is going to Cote d'Ivoire for one or two days, according to the official press release that I did get, uh, whether it has been updated, which the president's trip can be updated based on the importance of the trip. Uh, it was said that he was going on a one day visit to Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, whether that has been changed. Well, the president's protocol can be changed at any point in time based on the need B. All right, so let's take this person here. Um, hello. Yeah, hello. Let's hear you out. Yes, sir, Dama. Yeah, you live on hello. Spoon Talk, man. My last time I win, Ma, if you want money on God and bless anybody, as we have announced, you'll get your money here yeah, before the next show. So don't worry yourself. Yeah? All uh, right. Yeah, thank you. Jerry last. Yeah, right, it will you. drop. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's take this person here. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Let's hear you out, please. Thank you. Uh, this is Omer. Thank you. Um, what on my mind is this, and I continue. Maybe if that that embarrass me, I don't know. I'll put you see it because you guys on the radio. That is. This government, the got people that in the government are not fighting to see the block come up. Instead of fighting to see the block come up, they mm. fighting against the government. They will see every other thing. This is my worry. Mm. I listen to that and talk. I listen to the Johnson. I listen to your other people. They talking. If they think they're talking for nothing, or they preaching war. That's war. The preaching. They tell us to get ready before we going to get our dead food and we going to get our us. So I'm saying to you guys, whatever you see here, you got somebody between you there, he smile, and every time I listen to him, he can talk fine when he smile that that I don't know, Robert Go, Robert Go all over you for. But you know, I'm thinking he didn't get his smile, he didn't get his sleep. But don't get a man in a man has sleep, a day to day. But you know, be careful with him and be careful with all the people who finally go see that they probably see. And just talk to you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me bring on Dr. Francine Chinowith Richardson, wearing bright yellow. That bottle yellow down there, all our kind of yellow. Okay. <laughs> and, well, That's sunshine yellow. Sunshine yellow, eh? Sam, how are you? I see what that Richardson has said. Uh, doing good today. Today was a quiet day for me. I mean, just working according to my own pace. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm not on nobody's schedule today. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, how are you spending the time now? 
Yeah, well, you know, I yeah, just doing smoke my thing, emailing students, uh, watching, running after my grandson. Oh, Milan? Know. Yeah, Milan, Milan, yeah, oh, Milan is, he won't count on the show, thank God, his grandpa, his papa got him. So he can't count, he said, I'll be quiet. I said, you, you'll be quiet. <laughs> is he one yellow again? He said, fried palm or yellow. Mm, yeah, that's one problem. <laughs> I was like, bro, who got plenty of you? Yeah, but Michael, that fried palm or yellow, my dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how you take home? Plenty of drama. I have. I know happening in our country. That country that is full of drama. Yeah. Okay. You know, this afternoon, I came across a serious debate. Not politics, mm-hmm. but. Whether or not this is a serious thing that's ongoing or it's just you know to trend or social media drama or whatever the case is but the issue of transforming and taking men you know from the dumper and and turning them into husbands it's wait, got wait, some wait, 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 wait more wait mm-hmm. more y'all know i'm not up to date with your training issues because when i wake up in the morning i got plenty of things to do you know it's not that i don't oh, want you can still be spy no, I can be spied, but I can't get a gist of the story. Yeah. So what you say happening again? They say who taking who and how and when and where. Yeah, I got a major thing. The way the thing looking now, mm-hmm. it's like. It yeah, it's like clean clothes fit. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, so... It's a what? Clean clothes. Uh huh. It's like clean clothes fit. Fit the people. So now people going to the oh, Tompa. Yeah. So yeah. that women going to the Tompa to pick up men, or that or that men going to the Tompa to pick up women. Which one? So, so far, like, women, like, women will see doing it again. I can't. Uh, I need to authenticate whether it's something real, but or whether it's um, it's just a trending thing or joke or whatever it is. But I've been informed <laughs> that it's real. You know, That's at least one or two of those instances are being are, are real, and others are just for fun. Like you have now, people going to take pictures and say, "Oh, I found my own, I found my own." But they're they're real ones amongst them, yeah. So it putting people on their toes now, like, oh, <coughs> Fred Bonnet taking note. You know, when you turn to school, they need to go somewhere, you know, taste on and shine up person and make person all the husband. That is a leap of faith. Yeah, that's a that means it's there. Just take and polish it, turn it into your own. I don't know. I, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm thankful I'm not in the business. I'm not, I'm, you know, happily married. But so, I, but I can't imagine for me, you know, even when I was dating, you know, I had to know you, talk to you, get a sense of who you are. I can't just go pick you up from somewhere and then say you my own, nah. Yeah, but you can find your own from anywhere. No, you can't just find an Uber anywhere. They don't want to say love blonde, love can see, love can smell. Tinada, so so tapata as your boss. Love can smell. Love can see. Yeah, you know what I mean? You start seeing where you're saying that long time, and then you start seeing all the all the different, different things there that you never saw before. <laughs> <laughs> love that man. Uh-huh. You know, the first time you saw you start seeing so like, oh, you, you know, all your stomach, the butterflies in your stomach, yeah, you from seeing, you know. I do love. Know. They can yeah. be too sweet, holding hand in, walking all the beach. I'm telling you, but then two two months later, you will your I'll be open proper. You see, colo colo, your I'll be open. You see everything. Mm-hmm. That thing I call new love. Don't buy it. Don't fall. Yeah, so the guy was arguing. They mm-hmm. were seriously arguing. Mm-hmm. You know, and there was one guy who was for the idea that look, <laughs> anywhere you go, you find it, you take it, you make it all your own. Hey, I'm not serious. You know, this this is gonna make you guys serious, but whatever the case is, uh people entitled to their own choices are the richest, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's here yeah, what they call love, that's what the special significant love, like you've been in a relationship with somebody for a long time. And that's what the, there's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot you have to just get used to. The reality has to hit, you know. That person gotta see your ugly face in the morning. You gotta see that ugly face in the morning. You know, it will not be like, you know, chummy chummy all the time. And that's what y'all gotta talk the hard truth. Y'all gotta talk sometimes. Y'all ain't got money. Y'all gotta talk it, talk it. Sometimes the training can be craziness. Y'all gotta talk it together. 
So all of that thing that when people can be saying, oh, love is this, love is blind, love is sweet, love is patient, all the, I don't know, Psalms or Solomon, your own, songs or Solomon, your own use. It's not like that. It's the reality, reality of life. You got to be able to communicate. There will be stressors. And you have yeah. to be friends. Yeah, Abla, Mamea. Yes, you have. Love is blind. We need to address a shortage of good men issue because it's getting serious for many good women out there. <laughs> but who are good men in oh, there? So, are, are there not good men? Yeah, one good man here on the picture. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're a saturated CEO. You're a CEO of that. You're a saturated CEO of that. And I know that, that he allowed that. I allow Loki either. <laughs> Look at the picture and see what that two are here. I don't know that who's that. <laughs> I don't know who 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 gave who brought that pinky to your office. <laughs> it's the man brought it. The man brought it today. <laughs> yeah, too crazy. Anyway, he, he did well, but he make it. I'm sorry. He got did well trophy. But I really see you 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 you've brought out a serious debate though. Why are we waiting for the rest of the panelists to come on? Get all be politics out of the time. Stasi's cause says she doesn't believe that love is blind or love can see. Mm -hmm. Abdullah Mane says love is blind and love can see. And, and Abdullah Mane say that good men and other. Yeah. The shortage of good men. Where they are. Do you believe there's a shortage of good men? No. Then why is it we hear of all of the bad experiences more than well, a, good a man that may be good for somebody for another woman is not good for me. A man that may be good for me may not be good for another woman. So I don't know what good is. You know, it depends. What is good to you? Or what is good for you? Well, for good for me is that we can be able to communicate. That's very key. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't impress me. I have you no know kind of impression. You gotta be a, a thinker, a critical thinker. You gotta be able to know plan A, B, C. You can't just be stuck on plan A. You know, you gotta be romantic. You gotta know how to. I like to cut it up. You gotta be cut up. You gotta. You gotta. You know. You gotta know my expression. You have to know how I feel. When I come when I feel like talking, you gotta know it. You gotta be in the background laughing. <laughs> You gotta, be able to read it. you gotta be able to read my mind, you know. You gotta be able to say, Oh, what, what wrong you to do? You know, you gotta be able to send flowers. Not, you know, I'm not a big flower person because mm. I think flower can ask too quick, but, like, but at least the time is alive for at least it's, it's gonna serve a purpose. Uh, yeah, but you know, I, I'm more like, Okay, you gotta be able to give me a check to Victoria's Secret or something like that, so, <laughs> so I can go shopping or come shopping with me. But the flower, flowers that to me are a waste of money and all of that stuff. So once in a while, it's not that bad. You know, you got to be able to help out. You got to get out in the morning and we got to clean up together. We got to cook together. We got to be able to, you know, decide our future together. It's not like you can't just be, you, in fact, say you, you're supposed to be home when I'm home. When I say go, go, your foot on my foot. I said your foot my foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See your fan there. Good girl. Yes, girl. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I agree with you though. I know. All, all, all those all those things are scan. Scan. You can have fun, you can find someone doing all those things, but you know deep down what I mean what what it is. I knew you, know, you got you got to go to the mall with me. Who's going to waste time behind somebody going to the mall with them? No, I'll tell you, say I go to the mall. You can't go to the mall. No, I would know that we can do that. That's not true. And I, and I see you. Hey, and I, and I hear both oh, of you. Why you said it looking left and looking right? Because she's not here. <laughs> no, but that's, a, that's the issue. You know, listen. Somebody wrote something on Facebook, right, Damon? Mm. They said that... Uh, Adam made a mistake. Adam <laughs> shouldn't have left if alone. Mm. The second he left if someone took over. The second he left if someone took mm. over. And that someone was a serpent. And if went for the apple. But today, you gotta go. You gotta let them go. <laughs> they gotta fly. Damn, they gotta fly, you know. When they come back, it's okay. <laughs> when they choose to continue on the flight, it's fine. No, that you know. Time. But if we're talking for 39 minutes, can I have one second, please? I'll have a conversation with you. 
You want to have a conversation with me? Yeah. All right, go ahead. No, I wanted to tell you that this is not, you know, yes, so the, that that time that I this, I don't mean Eve time. People are just waiting. If you don't put, be aggressive, if you are not aggressive about your relationship, then then if you let that person fly, someone will take that person. Mm. Why you want to be aggressive? Why? I mean, when I say aggressive, There's I mean no aggressive. aggressiveness in love. I, no, not uh, when I said maybe. That okay, said I already scored a point, Damo. Maybe I know. I got already seen. I got already seen. Thought what how aggressive is. No, 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 no. You got to be attentive. You want to get all your colognes, so you want to be on her side. What are you saying, Camila, bro? Hey, you see it? Now because you had that already seen. Say maybe she will cut this one, next one, then you want to let's see. Love have no aggressiveness. No. You see, when I talk about aggressiveness, you're thinking about fighting and being, you know, loud. No, I never think about those things. You gotta be strong and and you gotta be into the relationship. It's got to be assertive. It's, assertive. It's work, yes, assertive. You gotta be. Attentive. You gotta be. You gotta be. Look, you gotta be simple, and be simple. truthful. Okay. That's all. You just gotta be truthful. You gotta be simple, and you know, yes, and I you gotta trust. You. That you, you, you just gotta trust. You do have the, to the, trust. the issue that you going on, you going on somebody's cell phone to dig behind them. The issue that you call in Damo and said, Damo, oh, you know what? Can you check? I'm in America, the person in Liberia, what's going on? The issue that you put your security on your partner or your partner watching you. There is no peace, there is no trust. Man, come on. If you're in a problem, just don't just leave. Wow. You know, just leave. Because for me, know. I'm just a, I'm just a simple guy. And that's why I, you know, Tama. That's why you know me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a one man, one woman person. That's it. Of course. That's all you gotta do. The Bible says, "And so shall a man leave his father and his mother, leave and cleave unto his wife, and the two shall be one." You gotta go. You can't. You can't just sit there and be worried. Oh, what the woman doing? Oh, what the man doing? Oh, no, I'm not in Liberia. Oh, listen, no, come no, on. No. We 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 got we 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 too old for those things. I hope nobody's doing that. So, but Dr. Richard said, I just want to say to you and to mm -hmm. all your many fans that are over there celebrating you because I wasn't on the show. Yeah. I want to remind them. Oh, Tina. You know, you gotta give, you gotta say, I'm sorry, go to Victoria's Secret, of go to course. the war, go to this. Listen. I yes. don't have to say the Victoria's Secret only because we are having a problem. You go to Victoria's Secret every day if you want to. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a fact. Because I got my own money, but the fact I, I, is I, I, no, fact no, 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 no. I don't have to. Damn it! Fifteen minutes. I said not you. No, no, they ain't fifteen minutes. Y'all not talking only four minutes. <laughs> yeah, I came on. I, I came on uh, thirty nine minutes into the show. Okay, let me just. I mean, because I'm, I know this coming. is the time Duaru can do his talking, so let's use this time. Say he's not here for us to be real with our fellow Liberian. The men got to be the man. I, I hear when men cry and beg and say, please, and say, I beg you. No. Man, man, I should you apologize. The other woman. No. I, mean, I don't mind him. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying men shouldn't apologize. Mm -hmm. But don't chase it. Don't don't chase the woman as if to say you she, she belong to you. You gotta tie her down. You got you gotta mm -hmm. keep her. She gotta submit. No, 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 no. Be like Stanton Wellspoon when you come on this issue. Be trustworthy. Be truthful. No zigiza. No tabata. But why are you talking? All I want is just smiley. <laughs> because because I, 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 I really want the people are posting, man. That one, don't do that. <laughs> that one, today's a seven. I think your paycheck, your paycheck got whole in it. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> like, 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 you know, like, the smiling are you doing, it kind of reminds me of that picture. And I knew release, though. The man brought it to me. I don't know who releasing those pictures. You got to cheer on the picture too, man. Hey, man, I just brought it you know, the portrait to the, to the office. I, I know. Look at like Musa Hassan Benete. What kind of soup this man eat so? Musa, I, tell you, Musa, I said this I to you. you. No, Musa, Musa can I come on the show? Yes, Musa can I come on the show tonight? Because to tell you the truth, I will say this to all Liberians. While we wait for everybody, I will say this to all Liberians. You cannot, and you shouldn't. 
hold the woman down, Musa. Let the woman be free to travel. Let the woman be free to speak. Let the woman be free to do a thing. You got to be trustworthy. You got to be faithful. If this woman cried for your phone, give her your phone. My phone has no password on it. Anybody. Anybody, woman or man. Listen, you have my phone, right? Listen, damn it, look, damn look, right? You have my phone. Damn look, look, let me get your attention. You tap on it, right? You tap on it. It open, no password. It open. It open. I will never put password on my phone because I have nothing to hide. I will never. I go to bear my phone in the room. The only reason why my phone can be going off so many times is because I said don't be calling me too much. That's all. I said don't call, oh, call. They, they call you in here. Because I said don't be calling too much. But the phone ha should have no pass. In the body phone, I get password. Your wife should know your password. The representative say, I'm on the password. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, yeah. Musa, thank you. <laughs> Musa, you see, I check on quiet because I can't even see you. <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 my husband and I, what did she say? Are you unique? What did she say? No, let the other people comment. I, I know we're going to get into this money that CDC. Wait, 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 I can't even see it. We will wait. get in the money that CDC stole the, the $3 million and the extra 19 whatever it is. CDC stay having a meeting at the party headquarters thinking whether they will impeach Joe Barker. CDC probably worried about President Barker traveling to Ivory Coast to work or deal that you have not seen before. You know, we'll talk about all of those things. The folks are going to come and join us. But, but let's talk about this issue that affects so many homes today. Seriously. Let's talk about this thing. That rich is saying, why can't we talk about the woman? Because the woman working, the man working, and the woman think that she's the boss, she can enslave the man. The woman working for more money, the man working for less money, so she look at the man and she just despise the man. What well, we can talk about those things? No, let's because she's more educated than the man and she think that the man must submit. What well, we can talk about those things? Why well, you cherry pick the conversation? I'm not cherry picking the conversation. Uh, anytime That's what I see you doing. A relationship is about give and take. There's no 50-50 in a relationship, okay? So if I'm working full-time, I will respect you. If I choose for you to be, you know, like my husband or somebody that I have to live with for the rest of my life or to have a relationship with, yeah, it has to be respect, mutual respect. But on the other hand, if you expect me to go to work and then you be laying out all day watching uh, a cable channel when I come home, you stay watching cable channel. I go to bed. You stay watching cable channel. There's a problem. There's a problem. You 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 met him watching cable channel. Well, Let's go to the origin. What? You met him watching cable channel. If you met him watching cable channel, he will watch cable channel through his life. You're right. That's yeah. true. But and when that's you what started dating, to... when you started dating the man, when you started dating the woman, and you found that person to be hard working, like that man will wake up in the morning. He will be to the mansion. He will come back to the station. He will move up and down, hustling for businesses. People calling diamond. And you say, oh, yeah, man, this man is hardworking. No complaint here and there. That's the dating portion of that thing, you know? That's what you got to do. But if you go ahead and find a man today, thinking that it's okay that he can sit on the bench and play video games and play checker and play Lulu, and you are happy with it, don't complain now because where you met him, now, where are you going to leave him? And that's You're the right. fact. That's what women need to wake up. And men need to wake up, too. I, 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 I can't want to say my phone not open. Ladies and gentlemen, my phone is open. That one. That one. And the phone closed now, right? Yeah. yeah. Like Musa said that white people go away. Musa, stop. Don't say that. If you open the phone, you yeah, have my phone here. Yeah. My eyeball on it. No, right? Mm -mm. That my junior boy and my daughter. You swap the phone, it open. There you go. Okay? There you go. That's my family right there. Tama, you... Tama, did I do anything with my eyeball? Come on, I see you blinking your eye. But, but the phone is into the camera. How the bag of the phone made me open it? No. <laughs> my phone got no password. I'm not saying to get password is a bad thing because sometimes the phone is missing, you know, you want it locked. But my phone got no password, you know? Having, having but to tell you the truth, I said don't get password. To tell you the truth, 
Prince Maxwell phone get password. I got password on my phone. Tell you the truth. There you go. That the richest thing get password. Are they sharing the password with their husband, with their wives, with the significant order? Absolutely. No. Some of them are not. Why not? Absolutely. Why not? There's no reason why you shouldn't share your password. I, but I want the kids. So I want the kids. Why I should we know. argue if Stephen Johnson cannot share his password? <laughs> why should we argue? If Mo Ali that visited me in my office, his phone lagged and he forgot his own password, we're trying to figure it out. <laughs> I've never said that before. Let me say it now. What should we argue? If you somebody say for say, better somebody and you worse. Six phones. <laughs> huh? somebody, somebody said you got six phones. <laughs> and they all look similar. <laughs> they in the same color. <laughs> They got it. They got a seat picture, so you can pull it. You can pull it down. You go. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Yeah. And you know, can tell about the pass on the phone that that loud can tell that one there. So the same color, the same make, the same model six. Mm -hmm. So you put it down. One passes for the other. <laughs> no, so 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 you know the right. I have I have four phones. Oh my god. Four, eight, but I have four. The Two. same thing that already is right The same page. Oh, oh. So, I can say that you. I have one. Maybe the person, maybe the person know me. The person know me. A regular phone. And so, the password, we can know each other password if we want to. So, you know, you know, you know why, you know, the person know we have all these phones for a reason, you know. <laughs> But but you gotta figure out you gotta figure out which one which, which one huh? I said you said I'm talking about putting a phone at you. Oh no, it was I got on the phone now, so you gotta figure out which one you wanna catch me on. Why <laughs> does anybody need four phones? That way you bother me. Let that person know me. I don't know where it's from. But you gotta figure out which one you wanna catch me on. And you know, but, but, but still, you're seeing an uh, important subject. You know, if you meet someone, you are dating the person, and you know the person they have a, the law for playing uh, uh, games, you know, cable games, and all of that stuff, you can't expect to change that person. You know, you're just gonna have to perhaps integrate it into the relationship. However, though, when you're in a relationship, to me, it's a give and take if you know that your wife is the one who's working full time you should get up in the morning do something clean up organize the place get cooked so when she comes home there should be dinner there should be food you know and then you can play your games i don't think she'll mind you doing that but if she come home you're just playing game all day from night from day to night you just on that video thing playing 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 what kind of woman have the patient i, I would say this to you if my daughter bring me any man thank god she's on campus thank god for my other daughter if they bring me any boy where he pants down his butt and he love video game <laughs> i don't want to see that person in my life true that is don't bring that person around me no if you didn't that the kids because that individual got to be on campus they got to be talking about getting a degree, working, and they got to have the head on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. There will be no man coming to your house to shake your hand as a father. And that man talk about, let me sit in the couch and play video game from six to six. In Liberia, the man say, I go on the road and you find on the checkup board and say, but nothing to do. You must do something. This is serious. You have All right. This is very, very serious. There will be no way we will sit on this program and encourage that. No, it's not about who you are. It's about what you know and what you can bring to the table. Forget this. Well, all person from playing, from wearing their, their pants. So you, go, so, so you go down looking for people to change. Go change this. Go there and demonstrate what change this. Yeah, that was not a conversation. Mm -hmm. You better, you, 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 listen, man, let's like, get this thing straight. But, we're going to get in the show in the next five minutes. The rest of the guys will be coming. Uh, they will be joining us. we got a lot of program coming up, a lot of stuff to discuss today. Uh, we have the full team joining us pretty soon to discuss the issue in Liberia. And the issue in Liberia here is too big, too big. I think I'll, everyone has seen. Damo, you, you uploaded the, 
on the report, right? Everything so far we will be discussing on today concerning the audit report, it doesn't look good for CDC government. It doesn't look good. CDC government have destroyed the country and they continue to destroy the country. Let's just, let's just call it as it is. I, I, I don't know, I don't know, seriously. Everybody that's sitting here today, you must understand. President, we have wrote a letter asking to pay salary for two months. He wrote a letter. He asked the Minister of State, Minister Wise, to write a letter asking to pay salary for two months. We go back to the two month salary that Dr. Richie said. And let's just, let's just say as it is. Pay salary for two months, right? How much did they ask for? How much for one month salary? How much did they ask for? And, and, and that's the problem. Samuel 12 and the Minister of State decided to ask for 83 million. Is that true? 83. Come on, uh, I, I, am I making a mistake? I know, don't put it up yet, just upload it. We'll take our own time and discuss it. Don't, don't share yet. They, they, they gave the other people some more time. This is bad for our country. This is too bad for our country. We need to pay salary for two months. Even if he said it, one more salary that thirty million dollars, two months will be sixty million. Why the government asked for eighty-three million? I want everybody to go back to the other report. And that's what we're going to find ourselves. I, 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 some, somebody got to help us here, man. Somebody got to help us here. At that Richardson, this thing is getting too bad every day, every day, every day is getting worse. Oh, Lord, we have another fire incident again, Damon. Send your guys down there, man, please. I just sent it to you. We have another fire incident again. Another fire incident again. They fire thing. Uh, Glennie, you coming on the show? You finish eating? You show? I see that you're drinking everything. You want a few more seconds before I bring you on? You're chewing your mouth and all. You finish now? What are you going to do? We're not hearing you. Thank God for that. Hello, Doc. I didn't eat anything. <laughs> but you're you not drinking? I thought I, I, put, I, I thought I put uh, Alex coffee in the chat room. <laughs> so let me add Alex. So we can eat in Glenn. I know that you like cassava gravy. I don't know why you love cassava gravy every I'm day. I'm a cassava woman. I like cassava. I eat cassava with anything. Cabbage, collard greens, potato greens. It doesn't sound right. Dog. It doesn't sound right. You eat cassava. Uh, that's your problem. <laughs> that's your problem. That's your worry. <laughs> There's another fire disaster again. I know. <laughs> There's another fire problem again, like, bro. Hmm. But, folks, invite your brothers and sisters. We're going to have a good show. Dr. Richie says, as always, my dear sister, welcome. Glenny, my first mate on the show, welcome. We're going to have the guys. Ellis Coffee will be joining us. Axie Doe, uh, Ambula Mame. The issue about this 85 something thousand dollars is scary. It doesn't look good. Uh, and whenever the president makes a request, a budget wise, we are now beginning to discover that Samuel 12 will go in double as to what the president asked him for, or sometimes he go triple. Mm -hmm. You know, we have information that President, actually President George Manor, we are beginning to sense that this is how Samuel 12 and the rest of his team enriched themselves. But here's the beauty of this information that we receive from some sources within the CDC government, that the president is putting this on Samuel 12 and his minister of state, mm -hmm. uh, Minister Blama. Or Blam, or whatever his name is, we say. I don't know how you're going to term this, even before we go into the conversation. I spoke to CD sources within CDC, Dr. Richardson. They say the president put out a straight, straight letter, straight instruction. Let's get salary for two months. And the guys that went above and beyond, where's the rest of the money? 
I mean, before we even get into the conversation, Dr. Richard should take a snap to this, you and Glenny. Let me send the link. Um, I'm willing to hear more. You know, if the president asked for salary for two months and somebody added more money to the request, a borderlines uh, illegality, that's illegal. I mean, uh, what actually could it seems to be my concern is that who's approving what the president requests for? If the bank director is, is there a board? And does it have to go through the legislative process? So those are all the things that sort of I'm just kind of thinking about and I'd like to elaborate on as we hear more, but it, it's something that's not, it, it, uh, these guys are, they, they really, <laughs> they use it, the country, let it go ahead, they use the country. I mean, there's so much going on today. I spent some time reading the, the editor's report. Um, it's alarming that um, with all the things, I tried to make some fun of it, but it's serious business, I mean, all the money in the end, what, what we were told is exactly now what is happening. Now we're seeing letters coming out. We're seeing, it also says um, that even as president, um, President Weir was not in control. Some of these things that we asked people to do them, he didn't, he didn't follow up. He didn't check on them. Nobody was checking for him. Who was his right hand person? Yeah. That was checking Ooh. on this, right, this processes, even if he couldn't do it for himself. He needed to have somebody want there to cross check because in the end, he was he's responsible for all of these things that we're hearing today. He's responsible, and it's just it's just um, it's not that people are surprised. It's just like <laughs> we are surprised at an alarming rate that all these things that you are hearing they're actually true. It's what the difficulty is in the whole situation, but. I'm sure there's more story to come up, more things to hear, but I will also encourage President Boyka and his team that as people are telling him stuff and he's signing on to things, he needs to have somebody who will be double-checking those things for him or else he might end up being the same way with President. We are now no accountability and nobody knows who was doing what, which is so, pretty serious. Yeah, so my thing here is that, um, Glenny, it's bad for our country. We are in a place that we don't know how we're going out or coming in. True. I, I imagine that we are here today to talk about issue of audit. Mm -hmm. Personal, we are letter. And... Um, I want to only do the letter thing when we have. Let me show a little bit of this thing. Yes, the letter. Mm -hmm. Honorable J. Aloysius Talu Jr. That's the letter. Dear mm -hmm. Executive Governor Talu. It was very clear from this letter we need to do salary two months. Mm -hmm. Agree that salary two months is about 30000 Let's give it to them. Why did they ask for 83 million? It's 30 million. million. 30 mm -hmm. million per month. And that would be 60 million for mm -hmm. two months. Why they ask for 83 million? Uh, right now, Liberians need to know. Liberians need to know right now because it's scary. It, it's, it's bad for our country. One of the worst day in, 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 you know, and we said now, we see that Joe, where he had a meeting yesterday here in Sedition. Today they're having some more meeting again. They're planning about impeachment. Joe, we are encouraging people to go and talk about impeachment. It's sad. It's sad. <laughs> we have the information that the president is pushing members of the House of Representatives to bring about impeachment resolution on Joseph Yuman mm, Good for him. Can you imagine? Because mm -hmm. President Buaka is saying asset recovery. Yeah. We want to know where you got the money from to build all your condominium, Mr. President. Yeah. Where Finabono got the money from? We want to know exactly why yeah. Samuel Twell, why I mean Samura Water Quality, all of them, where they got the money from. Yep. 
listen, these guys that were flying around talking, yabba, 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 yabba. Boom! Mm -hmm. Executive order 126 came. <laughs> yep. All of yep. them going crazy. All of them going crazy. And I no, think no, it's I want, I want I want Liberians to know this because this, we are getting into a scary territory here. Yep. So when somebody said, oh, we talk, no, no, no. President, we are yesterday, he had a meeting. Last night. He went back to the party headquarters that the people are talking about taking that headquarters from them. We get a court document. He went back there again today. He is pushing Safoko. He's pushing uh, Fala. He pushing member of seditions within the House of Representatives to bring a resolution through Iri. He pushing Yake Koluba. Talk about impeaching Joseph Yima Bwaka. He know it will not work. He knows that. He know how when my man they get passing with food behind you by a letter or say our Uma. He know it will not work. That now you want to talk about impeachment? Yeah. All of you are six years. Talking yaba yaba. What the papa did? The papa came. Bam! And said all of one, two, six. Mm hmm. The meeting about impeachment. I will explain the story. I want everybody to come for us to explain the story. All the money they took. I can talk to them. Did I say call me every night, every day? I said, okay, I test to it. They are putting together, they are putting together a resolution of impeachment. They are. I know it will not go anywhere, though. They can try. But yes, the thing, Glenny. Do we have access on? I'm not seeing. If he on, them, we'll talk to him. Don't see him, Glenny. Don't see him. I don't see him. I mean, this is bad for our country. This is bad for the former president, George Manawea. After spending three, two months out of the country chasing pigeons, that the only thing you can come to tell your folks that you guys got to bring about the article of impeachment on President Jose Yuma Buaka because he's going after us. He will confiscate our houses, our cars, and everything. I said, though, this is, you guys need to be ashamed. So all the media you are having, it's a conclusion that President George Manor, we are the former president, it's encouraging member of the House of Representatives, Thomas Fala, Safoko, they begin to squeeze the speaker for Nati Kofa. They are talking about bringing about Yeke Koduba, put a resolution of impeachment together. Let me say this to the nation, listen to us tonight. That would be one of the greatest mistakes for the president that was there for six years and destroyed our country. Mm -hmm. Refused to audit. Refused to bring responsibility in the financial sector of Liberia. And I like what he said in that in, 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 in executive order. Guess what? We will chase them. Wherever cemetery. Have, did, okay, I will rest on this one. Because I know you want to say something. And unfortunately, we got to bring Asi though because he's one of us on the show. Plenty. <laughs> With all, this happening, with all this yeah. thing happening, did you hear from Samuel Tway? No, nothing. <laughs> but why Samuel Tway speaking now? I yeah. want everyone to know why yeah. Samuel Tway speaking now. Because he knows it's serious business. Because they're going for your homes in yes. Africa. Yes. Why Samuel Tway speaking now? Because yes. 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 in America, we are about to seize it. Yep. Yep. We're going to make them on a guest home. Here, home in, uh, in, in South Africa. They were going after it. There's bank account that was seized here in America. The one in Africa, the one in Ghana, we're going after it. Even the one they have in Dubai and Turkey, we're going after it. We got the information. Why are they speaking? I said, the way your folks speaking. I mean, I'm sorry for you because you are, you, you are the sacrificial lamb here. They will never come up to speak. Mm -hmm. They will never ever come up to speak. I'm sorry for you, Minister Doe. 
will beat on you with truth. People say, Joseph, you man, black, I can sleep. Joseph, you man, black, I quiet. The puppet head your way, executive order 126. <laughs> no order, you're shaking. I said, to, to, welcome to the sport, my brother. Thank you for being brave and taking courage to come and join us. Thank you. It's always nice to be here. Uh, King, and for you, just the way you people folks keep yelling, yelling, yelling. I'm not sure what is the yelling about. But uh, it's always good to be on here in the interest of our country, Liberia. Uh, a lot is going on in the country. Very glad today that uh, we received a report from the General Auditing Commission confirming what President Weir had said when he exited the country's leadership on how much money he was leaving. Unfortunately, President Waikai did not get the real figure and uh, said something very different. And that was also confirmed by the GSC report. We know also today is March 7. Civil servants are yet to receive salary. And we know as well that the president did travel today uh, using taxpayers' money on a rented jet from the African. And a lot is going on. And uh, these are the things we are very interested in talking. We want our country to get better, uh, Liberia. And seditions are in her spirit, especially so when a certain few group of people who believe they and they alone have all the answers to like their problem, but cannot even submit the year's budget report, uh, budget rather for the government's operation. We are hearing that they will be requesting another approval from the legislature for money to be able to run the government for the next month again. And, um, we are in high spirit. Our party headquarters is sound and geeky. We were there today. We will be there again tomorrow and we should be okay. But we'll always be here to say the real truth to the Labyrinth people because it is what we dare to defend. We know about us, like better. So it's nice to be done. What were you just said? With our CDC Labyrinth, would that be better? Is that what you just said? You're closing? We are here to say the truth because without the truth, without us saying the truth, those of us who believe in the truth, Liberia cannot get better. So, so I said, this is what happened. We'll be patient for Ellis mm -hmm. Coffey to come on. We'll be patient mm -hmm. for Ambula Mami to join us. I don't want to just jump the gun, but I said, you cannot look in the camera, I say, in the comfort of your home, okay? And tell that brand that with the first two months of Jose Yuma Buaka as president, mm -hmm. we have come to a place that your government mm -hmm. has never ever come to for six years. With the first two months, <laughs> I know, I know, it's true, what? it's true. No, 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 no. you don't have brother, yeah. brother, you dare intro. Let's go to Dr. Richie, so let's do our intro and Glenny. Then we can start this show, because the people want us to start this show. But I can leave this in the mind of Liberian listen to us tonight. With the first two months of President Joseph Yeman Buaka, what he have done, your government have not done it in six years. We can listen them, we can name them. <laughs> We can tell it as it is. Were some mistakes made? Of course, yes. Of course, <laughs> yes. We'll step up to it and make it right. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody must shake up with this one, Glenny. Yeah. In the appointment process, there were mistakes. Yeah, we agree. We agree. We agree. Would there be more mistakes? Yes, because you know what? When you have an alliance and bring party together, these things happen. True. You cannot satisfy everybody. Man, you're making me hungry, man. I hope I get some potatoes green cooking. You, you are what I said, yourself yourself hungry. Hungry. No. <laughs> Your government <laughs> has never declared executive order on asset recovery. Am I lying, Dr. Richardson? For six years. The job we have ever talked about asset recovery for six years. Let me hold you there, my brother. No, I put that tabata down, man. Put that down. Put that down. That's why I say we are here for. Don't show me, don't show me cell phone. Tell your people to come on. They shouldn't send you message. 
Let them look in the camera and speak to Liberians. That's what Richard said. May God bless you and everything you do for the people of Liberia. For six years, on a former president, George Bannon, we are. You ever heard anything about asset recovery? Um, I I have a kind of slight memory, but I don't know how far he went with asset recovery. Um, you know, I, I do remember them saying that we're going to engage, you know, people to recover Liberia's uh money and funding, but I, I, I don't think they follow through with it. And my recommendation would be that I think that President Walker should follow through. He shouldn't listen to anybody. Uh, we have to keep our eyes open for the legislators. Some of them want to sabotage the effort to reset Liberia. And their, their, their continual uh, excuse is just because Ellen didn't do it just because we are didn't do it. That means Boca shouldn't do it. They want our country to be in a state of just. So, you know, my thing, my, I really appreciate him doing the asset recovery uh, executive order. I appreciate him looking and exploring in the economic and war crime court uh, 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 order. I, I hope that he does that order. Uh, because the the last person we had sent the order to the legislature and they didn't they, they had a whole twenty something page as Senator uh, Chair said to did twenty seven page recommendation nothing was done about it so yeah I hope that he does you know he does what is right for the Liberian people we have to change the country people want us to be stuck you know our country it, it, it's sad it's going to, every time I think about Haiti if we're not careful our country will become somewhere like Haiti. Because everybody wants to keep going down, keep going down. Why in the world you be borrowing eighty-three million dollar for what? You know, it's not adding up to me. So that's that's what I have to add. You, you know, for me, thank you, Dr. Richardson, Glenny. I just like to ask a very simple question for the old man to understand it, right? Can anybody show us on Spoon Talk tonight when the president, former president, George? Bakugwai, Opon, Fuck the Clown. We are ever called for asset recovery. Honor his six years leadership. I, I, then we want, we want to move on. Glenny, please help me. You ever heard President We are honor his government calling for asset recovery and what become of it? I, I don't remember. I, I don't I don't remember. And even if if they did. It was just very briefly of just as a matter of uh, touching on a topic. But one, one thing is, one thing we need to also point out here is that considering that this new government has, made, has had some missteps, what we our government did cannot even be compared to what has even happened in the past 30 days or so. The, 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 the corruption, the stealing, the lying, the divisiveness, all of those things that we are now hearing about, we cannot even compare it with mistakes on, on appointments. It cannot be compared. The fact that it came out the other day about the people, the property owner for the CDC headquarters today, again, with hearing, we got new stuff out. The things that is, that is being uncovered by the CDC government, there's no, I don't even know if there's any government in the world, any government in the world that compares to what they've done to our country in the last six years. I don't know. It's it's so sad and despicable. And then you have people out there who will want to come out and defend such mediocrity, such a government that filled and filled its people, the people of Liberia, and left them poverty stricken. And yet people are so brave to continue to, to support and talk about CDC and what they did. What, the, what did Liberia benefit from CDC? Every, every office you touch was a problem. Every branch of government has an issue. So what did we benefit for six years from that government? Nothing. You can only look at what the individual people, what they were able to acquire for themselves. But at the country as a whole benefited nothing. 
And I said, I don't know if he ever said that. I've never, I don't even remember him saying that because if he did, he should have started from himself. Uh, listen, listen, let me fair. Let me fair to everyone that joining us as you share this show. Just share it. Invite somebody. Go on your page right now. Hmm? If you're on Facebook, just share. That's all you need to do. It's going to be very interesting tonight. That's why we're taking our own time. Mommy, welcome to the show, and thank you for your presentation. You did extremely well work, or, or representing Liberia, and, 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 and uh, people are celebrating you. Uh, we hope that God continues to put grace upon you as you work through the World Bank and represent Liberia more. Uh, thank you very much for the great presentation today, my dear brother. It's always good to have you. Thank you, Stanton. It's, it's good to be back. Mommy. Congratulations, mommy. Come again. Congratulations, congratulations. Congrats. Congrats to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, thank you. And we just need to clarify because people may be thinking that I'm now employed at the World Bank. No, I'm not employed at the World Bank. I did a work with them. It specifically focused on the blue economy. So we're just trying to see how we can mainstream and integrate the role of women and empower them as we see the blue economy boom and become a new source of growth along the coast of West Africa. So that presentation was just focused on highlighting the needs to integrate women into that. Hopefully good things will come from there, especially at the end of this year mm -hmm. from the Waka project for Liberia. So we're looking forward to that. And you are saying also that 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 is to include Liberia, right, Mommy? Yeah, the, the Waka project is is not in Liberia. I mean, part of the things is how we can, you know, hopefully see it in Liberia. But it's, it's currently not in Liberia. It's in other West African countries. Basically, focus on protecting coastal environments and see erosion from affecting livelihoods. Hopefully, it will come to Liberia. Uh, this year or next year, but that's a decision for the bank and its partners to make. But I know Liberia has a need for these type of intervention. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see similar thing happening in Ghana and other West African countries in Liberia under this worker project. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a very good discussion. I had the time there to talk with, you know, share the panel with the current World Bank country manager for Liberia and Ghana, uh, former manager for the World Bank Agriculture Food Security Program, uh, the practice manager for West Africa for the World Bank. So it was a very high level panel of experts. I mean, talking about global development, especially with the emergence of the blue economy and how we can make sure that women are not left behind on this one again. I mean, what's what we're, we're highlighting. But back you to Liberia. You, no, no, before you go there, then I, I want to also hold on to this a little bit, Mame. You make mention of the fact that um, it, it's important for us to talk about it, you know, because through the Youth and Sport Ministry, thank God we have the Youth and Sport Minister here, the former Deputy Minister for Youth and Sport, as they do, uh, they had a water, waterway program, and you make mention of it, but that was a bad program for the country because a lot of problems came out. People blame Zucker Wilson. People blame folks of in the youth and sport ministry. They ate the money, um, and th this is this is a similar World Bank program you are talking about. But yet and still, Liberia is not included. What a mess! What a mess of, of our of our country. I mean, start on that, not all the things we can talk on the show. I mean, but uh, the government that was that we just trying to fix the mess they created was just a disaster to the country. There were thousands of opportunities around the world they could go for and help the people they failed to do so for two reasons one they did not have the people with the expertise and experience to do so and that's the reason why we keep reminding president Buaka in the first two three years of administration if you entrust people with key responsibilities who don't have skills expertise and experience you will fail in the first two years and once you fail in the first two years you cannot recoup in the in the last I don't know four years. So yes, those opportunities were there, but they did not have the expertise, the experience, the skills to go after it. Even if they may attempt to do so, they were mismanaged. You saw the women at the Ministry of Finance on the Waterway project. They were protesting four days to election for their money. 
They were protesting. If you find that video, you can show it on a very interesting video. They were protesting for their money. It was mismanaged. People use it as a source to put partisans on. They use it like they use LEC as a political tool. They use the project as a political tool. Directed resources from the project to their personal accounts. You know, put people there and are supervising them. So it was whole like a political stunt. Most of these serious international programs wanting to really make impact on the country. When they see the structure behind some of those key institutions responsible to drive those projects, they tend to be skeptical. In as much as they want to help the country, there are possibilities where they can be skeptical. I know the bank and other institutions have been very helpful to Liberia and will continue to do so. But it's always good to give them more reason to do more. But the last government we had gave them more reason to do less. But do not fatigue, do not pull out, even in the health sector, several other sectors, agriculture, people made intervention, we can see the impact. But we are back again, and we hope that President Boaka and his team will not make the mistake. Will not make the mistake. Don't just give people a job because you want to give them a job. Especially in key and strategic areas. Give them a job to make money and take care of their family. That's fine. Political accommodation, okay. But critical areas, don't just give it to anybody. It has bearing on the country and will affect the country. So that is from my end. Good opening. A lot of things happening back home. Willing and ready to talk about them. Asset recovery. The president executive order, I mean the 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 GSC report, and all in between there, you know, interesting things to talk about. So what to you that are registering? I just want to quickly interrupt. There's fire on 19th Street, Cinco Morovia. They're saying that it's really bad. So I believe Spoon is already the team is already there. But if you're in that area, just be safe and careful. I just got a call from Morovia. Tell me that is is blazing and it's bad out there. So everybody in that era, be careful out there. Um, uh, Alex, welcome to the show. There's a lot to talk about regarding finances today. So it's great to have you here. I'm sure you're going to add, you know, your thoughts to it and educate us on what we need to know. I have a question about solitary and transitory accounts. Why why do we have that? When I was reading, that was one of the first things that, you know, that came to my mind. Um, so, uh, I believe we all gave our opening, right? Isaac, you, you gave your opening. Yes, you did. I remember you talking about, um, so, so I know Santa has, uh, like, a, a platform here that he wanted to put up regarding the, the GAC report about the consolidatory accounts, uh, the accounts that the, the report that was actually, uh, generated because, the past president we are give uh, that he, he said that he left for forty thousand forty million dollars in the bank, and then the current president said he saw twenty million dollars in the bank, or he got reports that it was twenty million dollars in the bank. Mommy, you give a beautiful scenario today. I want you to be able to explain what uh, the two presidents were talking about in our in the language that other people can understand. I, I like that. I like that analogy that you use. So, so can you can you elaborate that before Alice comes? Yeah, I mean, President we are President we are acting like uh, this irresponsible father. You know, the other report is complex for many people to understand, but we try to make it simple. It's like this man woke up in the night, middle of the night, get one thousand dollar in his account on the twenty second. Get one thousand in his account. They broke on the twenty. They broke on the twenty third. He go to club <laughs> and issue check to some girls and some of his begin there around him of up to one thousand seven hundred dollars. Check mm -hmm. issue all around, knowing that he only got one thousand in his account. Mm -hmm. On the twenty third. Mm -hmm. On the twenty third, he told his wife, "Oh, I traveling. I going abroad." But I left $1,000 in the bank for y'all. The way takes the checkbook, goes to the bank to withdraw the $1,000. But before she gets there, 
Those girls for us more issued a 1,700 check to Owele, withdrew 1,700 and get a bank account in 700 deficit. Mm -hmm. When a woman gets to the bank to withdraw her money, mm -hmm. they put no money in their account. In fact, they account here or 700. Mm -hmm. And she calls her husband to tell him mm -hmm. that it's Christmas Eve. The 1,000 he said were in the account, I reached that deposit, we even owe him 700. He said, well, mm -hmm. all I know, I believe 1,000 are there. <laughs> all I know, I left 1,000 out of there. He cared less to know that the 1,000 he left there, he had already issued $1,700 check on that money. Mm -hmm. So there's no money in essence that he left there. That's why we are there to Liberia. He intentionally knew that the bank balance at the central bank were far less than the check his people were issuing all over the country because they were on last rush. Mm -hmm. Then he went ahead and announced that he lived in 40 million. Mm -hmm. When Joe Baca and the other people went there, before they could take over, all the check they issued. Like Joe Baca and his wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before they could get there, they put finished withdraw all the money. Mm -hmm. No money in the account. When you come back to ask a dude and they say, all we know we left 40 million there. All we know we left 40 million there. The president was right. When he said 40 million, he was right. But you left 40 million there, but you are already issued more than 80 million checks all around the place. A responsible father wouldn't do that. That's one. Two, if you did that, you would be fair to your wife. In the case, Joe, we are needed to be fair to Liberians. That, oh, yes, 40 million is in the account. But we have issued checks all around, and that money is not the net balance that you will need there when you take over. But he did not do so, and he knows the difference between net and gross. On the issue about foreign reserve, he announced the net foreign reserve, but on the consolidated account, he did not announce net net funding in the consolidated account. He just said forty million when he knew that they've issued checks all around because they were in large rush. That's an irresponsible father who doesn't care about his children and doesn't want to be sincere. It's deceitful. So you can argue, oh yeah, he left 40 million there, uh, uh, GSC said 40 million there, but the 40 million he left there is the same situation with the lady. Husband left 1,000 there, but I already issued 1,700 check on your, on your girlfriend or around in the club. When okay. she went there, there was no money. Mm -hmm. Children left hungry for Christmas. Yeah. GSC was having can TP. Because you took all the money from the account, you even took revenue in advance. But we'll talk more about it. All I can give their views. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy. Mommy, Mommy, you know, <laughs> you see, when we when we come on spoon and we and we speak, we we'll welcome our brother Colonel Edmund Remin Gray. All right, the former Colonel, retired Colonel of uh, the AFL. We we'll welcome our brother Alex Coffey, ABR Tax and Accounting Services. You can reach out to Alex. Whatever part in America you are, he will do your taxes for you. You got a accounting problem, he can solve it for you, work along with you through the IRS and through the American uh, Treasury system to get you settled. You want more money on your tax return, he got the magic. All right? You want to claim two, three, four children, he got the magic. So if you want to, to, to work with somebody to do your tax return, we have him here, he will help you. Uh, Glenny, that Rishi saying, as always, let's get into the show now since we about seven on this program. Let's get getting started. It's very important, folks. Welcome, everyone. Welcome the good, the bad, the ugly. The first thing I want to show tonight is something important, very important. And this is why we're going to start with this. Brush it off, get it over with, and then sure. we've got asset recovery. We'll come to you, asset, though. You got to speak. I beg you. But let me shift yeah. something real quick. I beg you. Whenever we, oh, no, 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 no. Damon, we're not talking about Joe. We are uh, Commander in Chief Patriot. Damon, don't do this. Not this one. This is the Commander in Chief Patriot. Don't show this one. I, I want to show something. Not this one. Joe, we are, I'm sorry. Let me, let me call your attention to this. I, I want folks to look at this picture. Ten senators. Ten. Ten senators. Nine of those senators surrounding the pro tem. As always, they don't want to be the one talking. So everybody look at him. And you'll see it. As always, they don't want to be the person talking. So everybody look at Dero now. You talk. Momo Cyrus, Abuche, 
uh, Nathaniel Magill, uh, Bon Conte, Prince Boy. I believe that Deba Vabala on the back there. Uh, somebody turn it back to us. We're going to name them if you know them. Uh, the pro term is seated. Why? Why do you think this picture is so important today? Why they decided to leave committee heads, leaders, to go surround? Because, you know, America on the trial and the other guys, they're not there. But I, I want to ask people tonight, please. It's important. It's important that you see this kind of picture. It's very, very serious what is happening. But we can announce to so folks home and abroad, those Liberians, they have received the resolution for war crime, war and economic crime court. That's the discussion. And we have a copy. I will share the copy with everyone on this set in our chat room. I have added you, Mr. Coffee. And the copy is very vague. It's vague. It's like I tell mommy, mommy, I want to go to Wawa to buy a cup of coffee. Nothing else. So when the Senate received this thing, because I have to talk about this, it just came up today. They went about to say, can we take it in the back and discuss it, or should we bring it on the floor? That's the argument they were making today. They call it, can we take it in plenary or should we just keep it on the floor? They went back and forth. Who all should be included to see it? They have agreed to remove the internal affair because Prince Johnson is chair for internal affair. So they have set Prince Johnson apart. They said, don't, don't let Prince Johnson see this thing yet. He can only see it when he, when he come on the floor. They are seriously discussing the resolution. Don't let Yaya Nimla see this thing yet. They can only see it when it comes on the floor. We shouldn't argue it yet. They went back and forth, back and forth. And the decision that they had accepted, we sent it to, we sent it to plenary, we sent it in the corner, they would discuss it before we bring it on the floor. That's the famous picture, war crime court picture. So they're going to put they're going to put the, the, up there war and economic crime code famous picture. Anything happened thereafter? These are the leaders. Whether they will push it or whether they will kill it, you are looking at them. Now I'm about to share from from the speaker office the resolution that was sent to the Senate, the war and economic crime code. I'm about to drop it in the chat room. Let me hear you guys. I'm going to take this picture down. It gets interesting, folks. Isaac, you were to speak, as I know we count the asset recovery. Let's brush this off quickly because yeah. we discussed it yesterday. So we I you know not much much more to talk about. There are very um educated people listening to us who know. Um, the reality of things that we discuss, like I've always said, and thank God that the uh, Minister of Information came I'm on sorry, the show. Sorry, guys, it's in the chat room. Please. You what, can check. We've, what we've always said that you can win an election with propaganda, you cannot run the government with propaganda. That is not possible. So I wanted to go on the issue of the GSC report, and like again, I said. I've always been proud of serving the WEAR government with the little we've achieved, though we had challenges and problems and issues like always, but I've always been proud. And I even couldn't be prouder today for the fact that GAC did confirm what President WEAR said. And let's go down the line. President WEAR said- So before said you go to the moving. answer, we'll come to you on that. Let brush this to you because I was asking a question, I said, do I know you? we are interested in the asset recovery? It's very important. But the fact that Prince Johnson, Yaya Nimle, shouldn't, shouldn't be part of the discussion, take leave, the plenary take leave from the smaller group to the bigger group. I want you to speak to it. If not, let's get 15 seconds to everyone and brush this thing. Because this picture is bringing a problem that they are excluding folks 
that are directly will be affected when you talk about war in the economic crime court, especially the war crime court. You want to say anything to that, Isaac? Uh, I really want us to brush off this GSC report thing before. Oh God, you see, okay, so we'll come out of you. Mommy, what do you think? You think uh, it's a good idea? They take it in the back, discuss it before bringing it on the floor? I think that's the normal practice. Most of the time when these resolution get before the Senate, they send it to the different committee rooms. The committee will have the time to review it and then bring their recommendations to full plenary for discussion. So I think it's just going through the, the normal protocol. But since Senator Johnson and Senator Yaya Nimle are listed in the TRC report, it was only be fair for them to step aside so that you know they don't put in their personal emotions into something that has you know everlasting burden on the on the on the life of millions of people. You know, so I think it's a wise decision for them to, to step aside. I know Senator Johnson has always been concerned about how people tend to use the issue of war crime code against him. I mean, we 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 feel his 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 pain around that, but we think the best he can do for himself, for his generation, for his children, even for the people of Nima that he defends so much, and everything is about Nima. The best thing he can do for the people of Nima is to allow the war crime code, so he go there and exonerate himself, so he go there and tell his story. There are a lot of things people saying about you that are not true. There are other things people saying about you that are true. The best opportunity for you to do for you, your children, your generation, is to go and exonerate yourself rather than just leaving a hanging. Go and exonerate yourself. To all other Liberians, whether it's economic crime, war crime, go and exonerate yourself. If you cannot exonerate yourself, and the court found evidence that you actually went against war crimes and economic crimes, pay the price. And when you pay in that price, pay it with humility. Regret your action so that that precedent can be set for the children of Liberia. It's not about one, two, three person. It's about our country. It's important to support it. And we hope our senators and leaders will see reason to move forward with it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alex, you want to throw something in there real quick? Are you with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Stanta. And let me say congrats to, let me follow everybody else to say congratulations to Ambler. They say you guys are going to be job. I don't know what kind of job that about you. I congratulate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's, 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 it's well intentioned to, it's because it presents a conflict of interest situation for you to be named on the, the TRC thing and probably will be subject to said investigation, probably. And then for you to be, you know, decision making, uh, making person. All right. So it was, it was, it's, it's like, like Mame said, it's, it's just natural for them to recuse themselves from those discussions. All right, so now I think we, we, we have gotten to, if anybody want to ask something, if not, we're going to go straight into this asset recovery. We will be bringing uh, Prince Johnson, I've agreed to let come me, to let me to add something. tomorrow or next week to speak on this issue. But if you will put Prince Johnson and the rest of the folks aside, then they have a different opinion to that because they think they should be in the know. But it would leave from the uh, committee chamber, come back on the floor for further discussion. Then, well, it is up to them. Colonel Gray, real quick. You know, uh, I will urge that they add on that resolution. It should not only be war and economic crime, but it should also include genocide. Um, when you add genocide, then you broaden the the scope. Because um, there is something in military warfare called Pali school. Either of these people may not be found guilty if this was a rebellion against, uh, say, a soldier in the military seeding to go in the bush to fight war. Under the concept of Pali school, international law may not hold anybody accountable. But if you include genocide, you're also including the fact that people went to the, into a church. 
because they knew that certain tribal people were held there and massacred them. People brought 200 plus children from Nimba and fed them to lions and um, and so on and so forth. So you want to broaden you want to broaden that particular scope from just war crimes to include genocide. That's the only comment I have to make. Thank you very much, my dear brother Ed. Great. Uh, so can we move on now? Or uh, as if I welcome uh, Glendy, Dr. Richardson, can we move on? Because if you want to say something, uh, speak now or we can move on. I say if you speak when I hear you, you are muted. All right, so I believe that we all have agreed to move on. We're going to say this. Let's get into the asset recovery question here and there that I say want to speak on so badly because this is about Liberia. If I were asked, I would not even worry to speak on this thing because I think that you are about to go into coma. Yeah, uh, there's nothing. No left line can, can, can help you out. But go ahead, take the first shot. It's all yours, Minister Doe. Yeah, thank you. I know my brother had the time for almost 15 minutes. I will go very less than that. Not basically on the issue of asset recovery, but just to just to uh, run off that very quickly. I think it's a good thing. I don't think there is anyone who um, should be against that. I don't believe so. Um, unfortunately, President Weir did the same thing back in 2019. Um, the former finance minister under the then United Party government called that a wish hunt say a lot of things towards it this time no one is saying it's a wish one it is our hope only that it is done properly and it's inclusive of everyone it starts from a very good day to now and that's okay you know once you got government property you take things you'll be able to account for it nobody is having an issue with it i don't think i've heard anybody saying anything otherwise it's a it's a good thing that's no 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 problem it should even include the president's own turn to know as well i mean this is in my mind it's not about uh, asking Mr. X for something when you know Mr. Y2 to be up. I don't think that's the, I think the reason is fair to Liberia to ensure Liberia benefits from what issue have been benefited from anyway. So I don't think that's a problem, but I wanted to go on the issue of GSA report. And I know, you know, uh, people were giving all kinds of examples that could make anybody laugh. So let's go to a few issues on that, uh, please. Again, like I said, President Weir said he left in the consolidated account more than $40 million. That was confirmed by the CBL governor. That was confirmed by the representative. That was confirmed by the Senate. And that was also confirmed today by the DSC report. Let's go through the issue that matter. And we'll try to bring it down to the, to everybody understanding. And we're not going to go in back and forth argument for what we know is right. The first thing is auditors perform audits based on the scope and the mandate of the audit. Auditors don't just go perform audit because of what you think they should do. Mm -hmm. If I were to call auditors in my house to perform audit based on my gross income, they will perform audit on my gross income. If I call auditors to perform audit on my net income, they will perform audit on my net income. So based on the mandate, that's how auditors perform report. And the other general said it of the other report, and that is on page six, the first paragraph, right on the introduction. He said, and I quote, just go to the right place. Accounts audit and expenditure co co committee and banking and currency committee requested the auditor general to perform a special reconcilia reconciliation audit on the net cash balances. That was the money they gave them. So they performed that audit. It is not argument. The audit is to perform the reconciliation audit on the net cash balance. And within the report, President Weir's statement was confirmed. And President Weir's statement was actually confirmed on page, um, on page 10. If you were to go to page right before the less unpresented checks. 46.5 million that was the cash total bank account balances now it is 46 million a little different from what president we have said though they are reporting more because they said money were in transit that were not also accounted for 
When I say transitory account, it means commercial banks, Echo Bank, Abbey, they collect money for government. And once they collect the money, they then transmit that money to central bank. That process had not happened. So that money, all those monies had not hit the government is count. That's the reason it is different. So let's come to the reality then. What is the actual reality in that is that? President Weir even left the government, the incoming government, than we even talk. The GSC report specifically said the net balances as at 2017 was more than 3 million. It means from the money you're high in your account, when you take all, all government expenses, including payroll, that 3 million leave, that 3 million, no debt on it. That is your use, you're getting used to do everything. As at January 19, it went up to 6 million. It means government pay for pay, payroll sal salaries was already paid for in that 40, 40 million and other debts that were still outstanding. So if you want to come to the example someone used, which is I thought funny and laughable. Right now, right now as we speak, if you open your phone and check your bank account right now, as I'm talking, check your bank account, the money that is there right now is your balance in your account. If you want to then calculate your net, that balance that you are seeing right now on your phone, on your bank account, now, now, take all, your, all of your expenses, your mortgage, your car bill, your insurance, what will be left is the net. Very big difference. Thank you. Let's hold you on the first round. So let's hold you on the first round. Let's hold you on the first round, please. It's important. That's why everybody want to hear from Spoon about the assets recovery. I'm going to bring in, let's go by Roglenny. Let's come to you. You heard Aze. It's all in the chat room. People took the different, different argument. Where are you on this asset recovery, Glenny? I think the other report speaks for itself. I don't know what, what I, I don't want to even comment on ISIS, those um, um, re revelation or whatever his conclusion he's drawing. I think the other report is very clear. I think we can understand it. That uh, That's peace be to him for whatever his explanation is. But I think based on what we saw and what we read, we, we can clearly say that 40 million was not left in the coffers for the current government. So that's, um, I, I, I side in line with what they, the report said, because I went through the report, I posted, even read it, I read the entire, whatever you shared, went through the entire thing, and I don't understand how this rationalization can come up that, yes, there were 40,000, and there's a difference between actual balance and net balance and what's in your account and what's not there. I don't understand. I think Mame, to some point, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant uh, illustration on what's left and how the money was left. I think I think that one should be used uh, um, with what Mame said of, we're saying that you have $5,000, but you issue $6,000 check, means that you don't have $5,000. That is just simple, simple, simple logic. So I don't, I don't, I don't have anything else to add except what I understand it to be. That the Richard said on different lines on the paper, we are saying, we are saying that uh, I see raising some issue as per the document that we have. You want to say anything to the contrary because we going to go by the paper, and it's good that we have Alex, Asiva, Mame, Conagree, every one of us here. You want to say anything? Let's go on the paper. That's how we feel now. I say pointed to some issue on that paper. What say you, Dr. Richard? Say? I don't have anything to sell. Listen. Oh. <laughs> That's so, but, you know what? <laughs> no, no. no. I'm, I'm kind of surprised because it means I say it's, 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 I say our argument is holding water too. Let that go to the other bit. I think I I I said point out. Only what we go now. Only because I said point. I said open the document, and he's arguing from the document, but you didn't. You know, you didn't hold him to his argument. No, I don't know because I don't. But hold on, one minute. I beg your sister. Let me finish. <laughs> you you didn't deny the fact that as I said, look at page six, look at article two, look at line one. But no, he's pointing. No, I, I don't see the need document. to do that. I don't see the need to do that. I've said it over and over. Wherever he's from, whatever his rationalization from, we don't share the same 
We don't share the same view. I don't have to look at all those pages. I can look at the last page. I can look at the go back, go back to the question that, that the newspaper asked today. Who lied to President Weah or who lied to President Barker? What would be, what, what would be your answer? Which one the person will lie to? Which one the person will lie to? Which one the person will lie to? Because I want I want to also assume. Let me say, when you're considering the Liberian dollars, I, I and and it could be that somebody some some to lie to President We are and then the people who took Puerto the uh, the amount also lie because if we're considering U.S. dollars, then the twenty million that Puerto said is not there. Unless he's trying to say that that nine million dollars. It's a book lie. Plus, it's a book we lie. That's what I'm saying because unless you're saying that that 457 million was converted to U.S. dollars, then you can say that's the possibility of how you're going to get to the 20 million. But from what we see here, if it's U.S. dollars, then there's not. <laughs> you, uh, no okay, thank you. So that Richardson, you show you don't want to say anything further. That Richardson, Glenn is saying that both group lie. But I should say no. Only in the Unity Party lying here. That's what you see. I mean, you see, I that I had to stick to a certain script, and I didn't think that I needed. I had a different script, so I, that's why I said I don't have anything else to add. He said sticking to this and that and stuff like that. But you know, it, it borderlines illegal approach. Anytime you tell somebody that I have this amount of money in my account, but then you write checks out to people out there that's outstanding balances, that's outstanding money, but yet and still you're telling somebody, say, I have this amount, you're lying. You're lying to whoever you're writing the check to. It's illegal. It's an illegal practice. You cannot do that, especially if you're in a government and you're supposed to be changing hands. You're supposed to be open enough. You're supposed to, that's the hallmark of leadership. You know, you're supposed to be able to explain to like bring people and to the person who you're turning your government over. But you, you tell the government, say, well, oh, I have 40 million in your account, but you don't, you fail to tell them that you have all of these outstanding amounts going on in the account. I mean, what, what do you expect? It's illegal to me. It's wrong. It's, it's a crooked behavior. So that's why. So, so, so the, the summit will lie to President yes. Yeah or uh, Amara, uh, Amara, Burma Kamara lied to President Buaka. Who lied to who? I believe that Samuel Twe lied to President Wea because Samuel Twe was the one who was responsible for writing the checks and communicating with the Central Bank of Liberia. President Wea also had oversight of, of, of whenever he wrote checks. The letter that we saw, there was a letter that came from some from a Blamo person. I believe we said Blamo went to the central bank and it had the president requested, okay, X amount of money for salary and payroll. So the president was in a no. The, the okay. Senate was in a no. So they lied. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Richard say. Also, we we get Glennis saying that both parties lied to their leaders. That the Richard is saying that only Samuel Twell lied to President Weah. As as is saying that the well, world Unity Party lied to President Buaka. Mr. Azevatuba, welcome to the show. Let's talk the issue about who lied to who and dig into the as a recovery document, sir. You are muted, sir. I gotta keep saying it when I'm here. That fellow is dual or Dojian. He's not Isaac, please. We want to confuse the, the public. But I don't think it's just simplistically who lie or who ain't lie, right? For me, I'm a numbers person. I want to see the breakdown of how the United Party derived their numbers. Mm -hmm. I want to see the breakdown of how, um, you know, Samuel Twe or whoever from the Ministry of Finance derived their numbers to come to that 40 million. And then I look at what GSC did. So when you're comparing numbers, sometimes you got to make sure they're parallel. If they're not parallel, they're not in line, you know, that's why Azidu is making an issue of cash balance, physical cash balance versus reconciled balance, right? If you are a business or even an individual who is conscious of your financials um, and how they proceed, if you, even your checkbook, before you get to your monthly thing, you had a balance on, on January 1st, of you know ten thousand dollars, if you wrote a check for two thousand, you subtract it. You say now nah, I got eight thousand, even though your physical money in the bank and that person has not cashed the check, it's still ten thousand. But you do those necessary subtractions. Then let's say if you expect him to get money, oh my 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 lease property that a person coming pay, it coming on the six. So I will expect this. 
So that's what GSC did. GSC looked at the actual cash balance. Then they look at all the transitory accounts. Those transitory accounts are all those different revenue accounts that the government of Liberia has at different banks, right? They're collecting no money. They're supposed to really resolve those on a daily basis, but they don't. So those money were accumulating there. That's up to, in the first, for the 17th, the January 17th assessment, that was about, you know, seven and two, about $9 million, right? So you have that 39 million sitting down, but that doesn't mean that's what the government has because they have written checks. And some of those checks were for January 2023. Now the government is saying, you know, I talked to somebody in government, they want to, in the former government, they wanted to accept the fact that they practice bad business, bad economics, right? Where they would actually write a check, release it to the person and then tell the person, oh, don't cash that check. Oh, we got anti money there, right? So is that not a valid money they have already paid to that person? If that person wants to be difficult, they can take it to the central bank and say, I get a cash fund check. What it will then now supposedly the central bank will actually call somebody that fund and say, Oh, they check valid, we can cash the check. They'll say, Oh man, no man, 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 don't cash that man check. We're ready for him here. So there's bad practices why they're trying to incorporate into a system to say they have 40 million dollars sitting down. No, they did not have it. That money was already encumbered. But all those different checks they have written and released to those individuals. So this argument Isaac is making is just fluff, fly, whatever people want to say. You know, on the other side, the United Party side, whoever get that number to boycott, he got to ask them where they got the number from. Did they get the original number from in the transition process from the Ministry of Finance and they were being misled intentionally? Did they open the books to them totally and they had the ability to assess but could not actually derive the right numbers where they were at. So those are things, you know, the, pre the president uh, needs to understand about his staff as well. But in my opinion, the number is definitely not uh, 40 million. And what makes it worse? I believe it took a debt of 80 million. So if you telling me, you're leaving me 40 million, but you go take debt of 80 million, how much are you doing? I really, I really owe 40 million. So you're burning me with debt. You could not collect, connect, collect revenue to pay the people's salaries and stuff. You probably requested one month of salary. I don't know how it might get to 80 million. That's the first thing. So all those things right now, there's a lot of noise around this entire uh, uh, um, consolidated account balance and what they have been doing with it that really need investigation. And the audit pointed out some material things that we haven't even discussed. The violation of the, 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 the laws. In our constitution, the Central Bank Act, and the Public Financial Management Act. Those are things we can probably get into later. I don't want to like hold up so other people, you know, can have the opportunity to make their comments. But it's very serious in terms of how our financial processes are being administered by both the Central Bank and the Ministry of Finance. And so, I, what I heard you saying that both sides of the eye actually gave some false information, and I think they need to be more clearer on your information to their president. Am I correct? Definitely. I believe what the, I think the, the, um, the GSC was more diligent. If you look at the report, the report is only about 19 pages in terms of the real content. But you look at the annex, annexes, there's like nearly 400 plus pages of the breakdown. Each line item, line by line, I went through them. I went to all the different banks that in Liberia that the government of Liberia has account with. I look at all the individuals. Let, let, me hold, let me hold you there before we bring in the, the guys, because folks want to understand. Then uh, does ASA have an argument here? It depends on how you perceive it. If you want to accept that in a transition process where you're handing something over completely to somebody, you can hide where you owe from there and just say this is money in the bank, but they check that I wrote to people, it, it, they, they, they don't matter. Yeah, then he ha he has an argument. But from my perspective, he doesn't. It's, it's a complete joke what he's saying. Okay, Colonel Gray. Uh, you know, there's a simple accounting principle that says asset minus liability equal net worth. Um, I'm a business person, so if I want to give you my total worth, I must exclude my liability off of it. That's my, my net worth. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons why people like uh, George Ware and his group 
should never come to power. They came on into power line that he worth $83 million. He left power line and he left the, 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 the state $40, $40 million richer. Now, can Isaac argue that those things that are, can Isaac Doe Jr. argue that those, um, those checks and things that are showing up are not legitimately, were not legitimately written by, written by them? Is that the argument? If they are, why would you say your net worth was this when you know you have liability that you have to minus? So it's all about deceiving the public from day one. That's why this group of people should never sniff around power anymore. Because look, we'll find out more. Now they, they said they, they they took money for uh to cover one month of salary. I don't know, it ended up to 83 million. That's another uh, can that we're waiting to investigate. So, you know, uh, when, when I see Isaac Doe Jr. come here, making noise, I think uh, uh, it just shows the kind of, you know, um, in, in a group that he represents. They are not the, the group to rely on. Um, and I blame those who transitioned and took the information to uh, President Barkai. Anything we are to where Isaac Doe Jr. tell you, make sure you verify it before you make, make before you transition that information. It's replete with lie and deception. And I can tell you, they know exactly what 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 was up. They knew that they they had issued checks everywhere. And then they, they, they show you, say, you see, this is my balance. That's not your balance. Even in the bank, pending transaction constitute part of your net um, balance in, the, um, uh, in your ledger on your account. So I don't know what, what Isaac Do is talking about. It's hard to, to just comprehend. Uh, and, and it's vexing at that rate. So, so let me understand because I want to keep us on the record. Then we will open time for us to ask each other question after Alex and uh, Mame. Uh, president Waka, former President Josh Mana, where we think told the truth. The folks told them the truth. Like the newspaper asked the question, "Who lied?" President Waka was placed under pretext to believe that there was no outstanding debt. There was no ex, ex, ex outstanding liability. So he did not make mistake. He, he based his, um, his judgment on what he was told. But the truth revealed it, itself, and then it shows that it was a deceptive, uh, it was decep deception on the part of- um, I'm not understanding you. So the person of Baga people lied to him? No, they don't lie. They, 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 they were meant to believe that this was why the, the, the balance. Now, I wouldn't know exactly what was issued outside of that balance they're showing me until things are showing up. That's what happened. Now that they knew, they did not know until things are showing And I will never know the, the, the where you've gone and issued checks and so on and so forth. If I'm in the bank working and looking at your account, I will never know until things are showing up. So the Thank deception you. was that they lied that we got 40 million, but then things are showing up that don't add up. That, 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 that offset that balance of 40 million by way, way to the negative um, uh, uh, you know, tone. So that's why I'm saying these are the group of people. So, so your, your argument here is that President Boga would deceive he and his people. Yes, yes, he was. But can we push this a little bit, Alice? Can you give me a few seconds to your mommy? If you say President Boga will, will or, or deceive, but we had a transitional cluster. And we went through the whole thing through the central bank. We went through the whole thing through the finance ministry. Don't you think it was an eye opener that somebody in there have revealed these things? Look, uh, um, Stanton, almost all of the sectors I reported during that transitional era lied on their on their on their report because they were deceived. You just answered. You just answered the question. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean that's that, that's a smart answer. I wanted to put it all of you. Thank you very much, Alex. Let me let me bring you in. This whole thing about this whole thing about what is happening, and, and folks are saying probably as against some argument here. Let me put this up. 
So we have now the total reconciled cash balance is 6.9 million. Total bank account balances, you can go through the numbers. But Alex, now before you speak to this, uh, yes, the letter, the letter came on March 4th, 2024. Consolidated fund account. The last paragraph, the last line, my brother. If you may allow me to read it because this is where you are good at and then you can speak to librarians tonight. The last line said, let me read it for my, uh, for my phone here saying that this account has several still outstanding checks amounting to US 9.1 million and Liberian 457 million or billion, I think it's billion, as at January 17, 2024, and then US 11.8 million and Liberian 457.6 billion as at January 19, 2024. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this, and I want you to help us understand, help Liberia understand, the same question, brother, whether draw where people transparent enough to really allow President Barker group to feed him with such an information? Thank you, Stanley. I mean, Sten Stanton, you see, we're talking about Stanley. <laughs> Thank you, Stanton. Um, you know, this. I would say to answer your question directly, um, I would say that the stewardship lied within the government at the time because we're in transition period. So the truthfulness of the figure should have come from the government. So the, the figure that George we have put out should have presented a true and fair view of the government's financial position or cash balance at the time, as at that date, he was re referring that balance to. So the GSC audit report, thanks to the GSC for such good report, uh, thanks to Jackson and his crew out there at the GSC, you, you will note that the report is an adverse opinion. And I will explain that. And Francine, I got my auditing hat too. I work for PricewaterhouseCoopers, one of the number one big four firm in the world for seven years. So I have an auditing hat. So they, they, there is an adverse opinion and I'll take you through the different types of opinion and what this means, right? Adverse opinion means that means these statements or the, the, the cash, the bank balances, right, are not prepared according to standards. And they are materially misstated. That means there are a whole lot of mistakes. These things were not prepared by professional people according to the standards of government accounting reporting. And that as a result of that, they have a lot of misstatement. And an audit report in its opinion listed some of those things. Now, the figure that was gotten by um, JMB, President uh, Wakai, was from, I believe, I was not there, so I believe it was gathered from the transition period during their visit to the different ministry or to the Ministry of Finance or to the Central Bank of Liberia. However, if I was advising Boakai, because when he made when he was giving his speech, when he made reference to figures, I was a little jittery. Knowing that, knowing what we know, and that is confirmed by this other report, I wouldn't have you know put that kind of figure out like that because I will I will share on the side of conservatism, right? I'll be conservative in putting, however. The seventh line is that he said highly encumbered. That means the figure we're saying here, even though we're saying this figure, but there are other things, obligations that have been issued, right? That could dwindle this, this amount. And that is also confirmed in the audit report, right? So that's the way I will answer your question, um, 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 uh, Stanton. 
So, Mame, yeah, we are. Uh, wait, seven wait, wait. Stand seven up. Four. Excuse me? I just want to say that that report is a reconciliation report. I don't think it's an audit because I don't think they know the backing of all those different numbers, whether they're really legitimate or not. They're just reconciling the amounts that were given them at the league. All right, but yet yeah, instead of no, 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 uh, 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 this is this is an attestation review. This this was done with reviewing bank statements and things like that. So it's like you reconciling your bank statement, right? Reconciliation. Yes, is you reconciling your your bank statement, but you have to have things to reconcile that. So they're reconciling all these things, and this is the the position, the reconciled position at that time. Thank you. Right. Mame, while I bring you on, let me show this. This is important for our audience, right? President George Mano, we are at the time, December 11, 2023. As his Minister of State, the Minister of State, the President called him and said, Mr. Minister of State, we have a problem. Your name is, uh, uh, what's his name again? G. Wise Blamo. I want you to write whether through the finance ministry or directly to the central bank, asking them that we need to pay salary for two months. Christmas is coming, two months. Mommy, simple letter went out requesting two month salary. Why are we asking for 83 million and now why we are here, mommy? I think that should be the crux of the discussion here today and going forward. You see, in Liberia, it's a talk, bring talk. Talk, bring talk. This talk about how much money left in the account is what brought the talk all today about the letter we're seeing and the argument the former finance minister, Samuel Tua, is putting up. This is the key issue that should be discussed. And I will tell you why. And I think all of you already know why. But before that, to conclude on this 40 million stuff, we may think here yeah, that President we are acted like an irresponsible father who knew the money he had in the bank. He had already issued check to all his girlfriend and the boy there around him. That was more than the money he had in the bank, but he got the audacity to tell his wife to go to the bank with withdraw money when he knew that there was no money there. President, we are new. Just a Baka was not president when President Weah was speaking on January 21, so he wouldn't have known the obligation of the government. But Samuel Tua knew the obligation of the government because they have already written checks. So he knew the obligation of the government. He knew the, what was in the account. But because they wanted to mislead the country, the only reported on what was in the account and why they were reporting, people were already withdrawing why they were reporting. People were already cashing check while he was calling 40 million. People were already cashing check on that 40 million. That's been deceitful. That's been irresponsible. So he is the irresponsible father who took check an issue of over $1,700 when he only had $1,000 in the account and told his wife, say, I get thousand dollars in the account, but wife goes to the account and no money there. Instead, the bank is asking for seven hundred dollars. That's what they did. Told the issue. I said, "Well, really, here he was talking, pointing to areas. Go back to that statement that he said he brought off. Go back to the auditor's opinion. Is there something you should be proud of? The auditor is saying, reading verbatim." Management did not prepare periodic regular reconciliation of the treasury account. Is that something to be proud of? Management did not ensure timely swap of GOA revenue to the consolidated account. Management did not ensure the borrowing from the CBL 83 million was in line with the City Central Bank Act and the Constitution of the Republic of Liberia. Is that something you should be proud of? You should be shamed of. And here's the reason why you should be shamed. The president wrote a letter because only the president has that authority to convince the central bank to loan the government because he had already made statements all around that will no longer borrow from the central bank. 
But if it becomes extremely necessary, we agree that one government, you can take money from the central bank. If it becomes extremely necessary. The president wrote, asking for two months salary. As of January, the Monday mm -hmm. salary for civil servant is 26 million. Times two is 52 million. So technically, the president was asking for 52 million. How did it go to 83 million? How did it go to 83 million? Balance of 31, more than what was requested by the president. That should be the focus of the Senate. That should be the focus of our discussion. Especially so when the final minister was announcing budget surplus. The final minister was announcing budget surplus. But the president on the other side is asking the central bank to credit 52 million, but the final minister is taking 83 million to pay salary, two months salary. But yes, it's a cash. Even the salary they said they were taking the money to pay, government is still owing civil servants for that period. The current foreign minister, Madame Beslow, just wrote a letter, I put in the chat room. Just wrote a letter to all the embassies, informing them that she's aware of the over three, four months arrear that the government owed them. Hmm. So you announce budget surplus, you borrow money purposely to pay salary, yet and still people cannot take pay, yet and still you owing salaries. But more than that, you borrow over 31 million more than what the president asked for. That is the point of investigation. So when I say talk, bring talk, this is the talk that has come up. How come the request for two months salary left mm -hmm. and reached to 83 million from 52 to 83? What happened with the balance 31 million? That should be the Senate's focus. Stakeholders should be concerned about that and they should be investigating. Instead of asking who lie, who didn't lie, yeah, it's the fact. The government has acknowledged that it requested 83 million. We have a letter that the president asked for two months' salary, which is 52 million. Where the balance 31 went, and even so that you took 52 million, you did not pay civil servant. Diplomatic staff do not have salary. What did you do with the money? A lot of things will come up. When these people are removed from these institutions and new people go in, a lot of things will come up. Hey, mommy, you, you know, you're raising a lot of issues. Sources from, and we're going to mm -hmm. ask you to do Let me just make this. Sources from the central bank. They are disagreeing with you. $32 million per month for salary. $32 million. 32 times two is 64 million dollars. That's their argument, not my argument. They are watching you and Alice Coffey and everyone on this show, and they are saying 32 million per month. I now, think you're bringing, you're bringing breaking news. They say the jail appointed Alex. Oh, when I hear you, Alex, I said, must I just be in the comment? Oh. Congratulations. So, You're like a great little man. A vital man. If the news if the news there, then let's just flag the news. That's what we do here. Uh that, that flag the news. Yeah, then we go to that central bank thing. Yeah, then we then we go to central bank thing. So it's it will be on the executive mansion website and we get a website it's right here. Special advisor. Yeah, we get it. We get a website right here. So now, uh, uh, Alex, many energy to go well. Made a fast. So oh, now, uh, 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 Alex, is today, it are you sure this? Today, it's have a letter to you. Right? Not, no, but not, Mr. Was, Alex oh, okay. Hey, bye. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we just? Can we just show it up? Because it's a Why you want more of us? Happy, happy. Like that your business. I said, let me show you up. You just talking. You that all, always talking about paper, I paper. I'm calling you on my phone, brother. I'm not looking at your phone. I told you, I don't let your phone business. How do, how do you find it? I get a marshal website again, man. I forget. I got to go to the marshal. I mean, you put it in the chat room. The man will see it. Let me put it there. Let me put it there for you. You accept right. that position, Alex? 
He has the, we, we, my we, only concern. We had a conversation. We had a conversation. My only concern if this the man who can really do the work. Put it there. The people there. No, I got it. They're pointing him as advisor. The people there who will be doing the work. I hope they know what they do. They might not yeah, be that I know. <laughs> Yeah, as it as it there are different thought process that led me to that. Uh, so wait for you, Alice. Hold your piece one minute. I want the people to see it. You know, when I let you skip, we'll pause this as a thing and you know, recovery thing, and then we'll squeeze you as to why your thought process led you to, to run as a this ambassador thing. But ladies and gentlemen, that's a good news on spoon. You know, spoon produce nothing but the best. Once you show face, God bless you and give you grace. You in government, the only person here that I have a problem that I said do, but anyway. Let me <laughs> accept the master Maria Labra following the insurance of the executive order number one two six establishing the office. Establishing the office. Oh, the thing I pulled out will come out. Oh, Martin called Martin Colley feature you. <laughs> yeah, good governance activist. All right, let me try and pull it up again. All right, so here we go. They are saying that because of executive order want to say some property retrieval court team, the team is expected to lead the charge to ensure processing leading to the location, recovery, and retrieval of public resources and property. Personalities need to be to the court. Hey, man, this thing is so sweet. This is sweet, though. Sweet. I, I don't know. Listen, listen, let me say this to everybody. This is unique. Because what we are saying here is that they're going for name everything, Councillor Edwin Clark Martin. I see why my papa been running away from me. You know, <laughs> he been running away from me. He's the chairman. But man, you can't talk about the official like that, man. <laughs> my man, I basically go talk about it somewhere else. This is boom. My papa been running away from me, my man, because he know what's up. Uh, he said, my son, where yet? But let me go. Miss uh, Myanmar Robertson, Vice Chair, Mr. Alexander Coffey, our own Ellis Coffey here, Clappy, Good Governance Activist, Mr. Ahmed Denster, a uh, member, Honorable Emmanuel Gongwet, member, uh, Dr. Rani B. Jackson, member, public policy expert, oh my God, Miss Victoria uh, Moesima, member, business community. Mr. George Moe, member security, John Mobile Glee, member security, Mr. Tricken Mountain Allen, member private sector, representative general service agency. Wait, no, wait, okay, representative general service agency, representative Labra National Police, representative Minister of Justice, the Minister of State with our portfolio for special services will serve as ex official sign. All right, so uh, Isaac, here we are, my brother. Help us understand our brother, Mr. Martin Cody, member of Good Governance. That's beautiful. Uh, the, so, 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 Alex, let's go back to so Isaac brought this new news up. Uh, speak to the nation tonight as to the 126. You guys will be leading that under the uh, chairmanship of my own old pop, Councillor Martin. Uh, talk to us. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing. Um, it's a good day. We... We did this thing before for our country, and um, this is a broader uh, picture. We will we'll do it again, and um, we say thank you to Mr. I mean President Boakai for taking these bold steps um, in coming up first with the executive order, um, and then um, listing the people um, to to take on this huge task for starting for a year. Is is you know transition? I mean, executive order for one year. I mean, for one year, it can be extended, but it's normally for one year. It can be extended, so um, it's a good thing. We we just hope and pray. For me, I hope and pray that God will give us the strength, the wisdom to lead in the right direction in this effort. CDC Academy close. <laughs> I have more property store you can bring here. I just saying that Ellis oh, Coffee. And, and I want to go back to the to this conversation, which the, the, the kind of people that work up bringing in. And the person ahead in this group, we gotta talk about you guys first. 
Seriously, we'll go back to asset recovery, but we got to talk about this. LACC, Councilor Edwin Clamantin, LACC, he was removed by George Manawea, the former president. They refused to pay him. They beat on him. I'm not saying this because of anything. Let me be serious here, Alex. He had to go to court. Mm -hmm. He had to fight for his position. Say, I'm telling you, they say we care less. On the show, Samuel Twer and the rest of them chased him. I was on the phone with Councillor Edwin Clamantin, and he said, Stanton, my son, I have to leave this country. Fago and myself were laughing at him. He said, it's not funny. My life is at stake. He just lost his mother, who gave the announcement, last month, to bury his mother. He has over 98 documents of indictment. 98 documents of indictment on people that stole the country money. 98 documents. The decision by President Buaka to make him chairman and putting something in my spine, mommy, is scaring the heck out of me. This is a man that loved the LCC and know the people that are out there. This is no joke. That's the only person I can. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The vision that God is giving President Buaga is something extraordinary that in two months, he now taking shit. To be fair, who bets for one year on this executive? I am saying that because I know Clyde Romanti. I am saying that because I know what he has, what he possess. Document, he need no other argument. He need nobody to give him information when you talk about legis. He need nobody to give him information when you talk about the finance ministry from Samuel Twer, Samara Wadokori, and all of them. He got the document. He have over 98. So I asked him, I said, Papa, he said, yeah. I said, you sure they were not? You said, but so leave it. They were not funny. I'm not scaring anyone, but I scare like hell for CDC right now. I'm afraid for CDC right now. You go add Ellis Coffee? Are you serious? You brought in Ellis Coffee? You must ask why Ellis Coffee is doing in America and he's not in Liberia today. I'm not going to say he's on the show. Wait, in our which hondo? No, no, I'm not saying no, no, no. I, you know what? As if I, you told me who I got to you. Let me tell my own. Sensational. So and, and let the people, and let the people, no, we come to you, as a do, and let the people figure out what it is. Does it, as a do, won't cry? Yeah, the, 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 the Jewish people get a parable, folks. If the man miss you with a bullet and he intended to kill you, get an opportunity to kill him. Because he will not miss you the second time. To be frank, who else on this list? You got nobody else to pick, but the man <laughs> I made mean, my uncle Martin Cody. Well, I told my own about shoot on side. Then you get... <laughs> no, 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 that's probably what I gave you. I told my you shoot on side. <laughs> you be nobody else. You go bring Martin Cody. The man that you kept in exile for the rest of his life. You go bring him. Go read a book and you will understand. I want to say it's a good day in Liberia right now. A pretty good day. A new day for Liberians. I want to say it's the best thing this president has ever done since he has taken power to pull this kind of group together. One of the best in the left town of Jose Yimabwaka. He's 79 years on earth. This will yield a result. 
because I respect the folks, the team that the president have put together. I'm afraid for Samuel Tway. I'm afraid for Nathaniel McGill. I'm afraid for Samara Wolokoli. I'm afraid for President Weir. I'm afraid for Fina Bono. I am afraid for Kalasco, Percy Yake, Chokon Queer. I'm afraid for these people because the Liberians will get what they've been crying for. Even better so than it's, war and economy crime code. As it's so okay, you can speak. Yeah, I calm down. Man, man. Man. As it though, but All right, the right. argument, the Liberian right. people been yearning, been crying, and the Lord good God is answering so, their prayer through Joseph Mabuaka. That's me. Thank you. Speak. Thank you. Speak. Thank you. I want you to kind of go and get some water and drink and come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> good advice, as a let it go drink. Drink <laughs> and come down soon. So, Stanton, we understand Liberia was founded 1822. The first time people started doing corruption in Liberia, that is soon Joey Akin in power as government. Nobody do government before Joey Akin. So the only people they as a recovery to the back of call and say the only people that do corruption in this country from the time the soon Georgia begin president corruption started. So I don't even understand why you are around here because it's not around here. Let me tell you for for for, for instance, Senator Amara Kone has a seven million dollars worth of farm in Bakulu. I'm thinking somebody may want to ask a question. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But again, I want you to calm down. Like I, I said earlier on. Every well-being Liberian to appreciate any good thing for our country. And thank God, Mr. Coffee is here. Again, you talking about climate, the money from there they bring. I'm not sure they brought him to say, oh, go to the mail movie there. The fact that you know that no, 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 yeah, but let me have little, peace no time for peace no, Let me have my little time now. The national legislature passed a law, President Sani, and then it was implemented. And besides that, Stanton, we agree that the only time corruption started in Liberia, that the time Joe had begin president. Once upon a time in our history, someone said a government was three times corrupt than the than previous. And that person is no one else but John Molu, former Auditor General. At that time, no corruption in Liberia. So slow down, calm down, and let's discuss the issue. So uh, I know it was my turn before we went to this other news. By the way, congratulations, Mr. Coffee, and I trust you, you will do a good job. Uh, I know we're talking about the issue of the GAC report, and, and my brother kept talking about 83 million. I'm not sure if George, we have requested 83 million somewhere. Maybe someone can help me. I know there were two requests, totally 83 million. So I don't know when someone keeps saying 83 million. There was never a single disbursement of 83 million. There was some 50 plus and 30 plus. So I don't really know. Why. But again, like I said, we are always here to speak those things that are real. We are not here because we know English, we study English, or in K2, so we just speak English. Oh, oh, A, B, C, equal S, so no, that's not what we are for. We are here for the real too. The government of Liberia has never received 83 million anywhere. They received two money totally, 83 million. And straight there on the report again. I will come back. You know, I try as much as I could to make this thing so simple. So I wanted to do it my layman way. So in my hand here, yeah, CEO, I'm just, I want the people to understand me, my own part. In my hand here, yeah, I got 400 liberty. The cash in here is 400. Although I got 200 for my little daughter, but the cash in my hand now, as I'm talking to you, that 400. This is cash in hand, 400. If I want to go to my net cash, then I would take my daughter 200 from there and say 200 and net cash. So I don't know how much more I can explain this. It is so different, man, people. Again, you know, people got different field of studies. You know, although I disagree with Mr. Col or, or Coffee on what he said earlier on, I really disagree with it. Um, cash. Right now, when everybody on this set go in your bank account, everybody here, go on your phone, lock in your bank account. The money that there that you will see now, that cash in bank. We are not saying... It is wrong. See, oh, let me, turn, let me end my turn. We are not saying it is wrong to get the net cash position. And by the way, the net cash position was a positive balance, not negative. It means government runs on income and expenses. Government don't only run on, uh, on income. So it means all of the income we raise, when you take all of the expenses, three minutes will be over. 
So I don't know how much more I can come here to explain this. And this will be the last explanation. People are listening. It's up to them. Thank you very much. That's all I want to say. Tell you what it's your last. I beg you. You got to. Well, you know, you know, know. Know. I to ask no, you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You see, okay. I am so happy that this is Asido last explanation. You go ahead and explain with it. No, no, because you know why? Liberians, mm -hmm. don't say nothing more. We can move on and talk Tabata now. <laughs> don't you see that group? We will recover. We will recover the leftover money. I said, don't can put 400 Liberian dollars or two for a dollar, two for a cent. Because I don't think Ellis Coffee would find that money. We shouldn't be able to argue again. President, where can say I tell them to get two more salary at 64 million, 72, 80, all or 90, or whatsoever million? That's a business. Go to bed and have a good drink. With this name, these names, as if I took back genial, these names, I will never be on the show to argue with as a dude anymore. It will be worse of my time. I gave it to Councilor Mountain. I gave it to Alex. I gave it to Mountain Cody. They were funny. They were funny on a cemetery bear on a job where whom he got in France. They were funny. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, come on. Just start wasting our time. I said, talk yeah. to me, man. Talk yeah. to me. So, just again, to just dismiss as a do thing he talking. When did the letter come begging for the loan? That was before these balances. They cry and said they had no money. That's why they went to the central bank to negotiate with Ministry of Finance. What did George Weir ask for? He asked for one month, December 2023. Even if the, In the, second the, the monthly and salary expense is 32 million, then the state giving them 51 million more than that 32 million. But this anyway, is the second letter, sir. This is the second letter. The second, that the second oh, letter. Two times ago, pay for money. <laughs> So where the other 16 and 19 million gone? But small as it was, it was that for the most recent it was backwards. So that you cry, you cry on Amara Kone and other people for any government who get to this story. But then they first this first year, let them start with the most past recent government that we had here. It would just be fair. So first folks, last out. Asset recovery is extremely important. And sometimes, I don't know what process they will use, but sometimes they will say, you got holiday. You got one month if you stole our money, you stole our government property to kind of report yourself. Then the lineage will be there. If you don't come and tell us where you're not do, where our money is, or where somebody else oh, is. they can do that. Money, they can do that, right? They yeah, can do they that. that. If you don't come and tell us, and we got to go find out, then no discussion, no waiver, no forgiveness, nothing. You always go through the entire, you know, consequence of the law. No, man, I'm, 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 so, I'm so afraid, I say, I am. No, but look, I, you afraid, I'm excited because this with them, look, between the war crime court and the asset recovery, if this government goes through this process, it will set the basis for the future mindset of how people look at government and their responsibility as citizens. You don't bring the others, asset, but you can you can stay on because you say you will you will hang around. But that Richard saying the reason why I say I'm afraid is because that uh, we having some people that have that 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 have war face. It had to get Ellis Coffee to smile. Cairo Mountain, man. These people were beaten on the cross. Tell the now latches they will give them to them. They mocked them. When they were fighting for Liberia, that to Richard see, people look at them as enemies. Samuel Tua came on the show. He denigrated Cairo Mountain. When the papers say again, now they ate documents on investigation when he was held in LCC. Those documents, they are dead. It's a new day for Liberia, but it's so bad for CDC. That Richard said, man, where, where are you with this? I love this part. I, I will sleep. So, nobody will come in tonight because I will sleep so, so peacefully tonight. That Richard said. 
But it sounds like good news to me, you know, that we have responsible people like, you know, Alex Coffey and Councilor Martin, Martin in charge of this asset recovery or at least have a role to play. So as long as the president continue to exhibit the political willpower, because other presidents have everybody who say, I'm going to fight corruption, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So as long as that people continue to support the president and he, you know, continue to demonstrate the political willpower, I think this is a good move. We have to start from somewhere. If we continue going down this road, our country will never, never, never achieve greatness or achieve, you know, uh, some road to recovery. It's, it's, it's really bad. If anybody read the report, you see, all, like uh, Alex was talking, there were all these irregularities. The, the standards in which uh, bank uh, documentation were, were carried out was just completely by their own. It was not a recognizable standard. It was, it was there all these in the Senate there, they were taking money without getting the Senate uh, approval or ratification. You know, all of these things were happening and we cannot continue to do this. We can't use that bureau. They were using that bureau as if it was their farm. You can't do that. You can't use that bureau to say, oh, I won't go on vacation. I go to Central Bank. Well, I won't buy a new car. I go to Central Bank. Oh, well, I won't keep pay money to this person. I go to Central Bank. I mean, I saw the, the annex. I think Stanley, you should show the annex. I mean, there was line after line of money going to all these different people, all these different places. You know, can we verify that? I think I put in the chat room who is Chawu, Chawu, one of the people that they name, you know, that he need repeatedly show up every month. I don't know who that person is. Maybe you guys know, you know. Uh, there are all these different uh, uh, people, personal people, things were happening to pay, uh, car, vehicle, you know, uh, rental, uh, supermarkets. There were supermarkets name on there. But anyway, uh, we have to have the willpower. Black like, people have to stand strong. It's not going to be an easy road. But if we want change, this is what it's going to take. It's going to take a lot of hard work. That rich is going to tell you. Abula Mambe, I want to squeeze uh, Alex a uh, few questions we can ask him with all everything apart from all the jokes, but this is big. Uh, Abula, your take on this new setup on 126 uh, executive order, your team. I think that's the one of the best news coming out of Liberia in the last two months. Asset recovery. The people named on it, the constitution of the committee, and the war crimes code. One of the best news coming out of the country. But this is what I want to tell Liberians, and even Mr. Coffey and the other people who will be leading this national effort. It's not a small task. It's not a small task to recover assets in the country that corruption has been the order of the day, the norm, the good things to do. When you see in government, they praise you in your community. When you see in government and donate, they call you all the good names to fight and recover assets in such a country. It's not a small thing. The public, we celebrating today the decision. But what happened today is just 5% of what is required to recover assets in Liberia. So we need to be careful and not sleep on the presidency. When I say we, I mean we the Liberian. We should not sleep on this. We should stand up and continue to remind the president and the people around the president and those on the committee that this is what we want. Because a few days from now, you will hear, you might hear Liberian saying, oh yeah, you see, but I'm on a royal leader, man. When Mr. Coffey and other people start to go after people, the population will be divided. Like today, some people say, no, don't prosecute Johnson. Oh, don't persecute Yaya Nimlin. Oh, don't persecute Edwin Snow. Don't do further investigation on Siru Allen because of the TRC recommendation. When the asset recovery team get ready to move out, 
You might hear people say, oh, no, you're leading man. Oh, you're leading woman. And that's how it feels. This is not the first time for a president to announce as a recovery team. President, we are announced as a recovery team. Ellen Johnson said the constitutional committee to investigate criminal activities, corruption. Where did they go? Nowhere. Part of the reason why they not go nowhere, the reason are existing today. The cartel is surviving. The cartel is there. They are prepared to protect and defend each other. They are prepared to undermine the asset recovery team. They will not give you the resources you need. They will not give you the logistics you need. They will not give you the information you need to do your job. They will work with the president to, to appoint people in ministries to cover up everything that has happened. Like what they want to do to LEC, to meeting captain so he can cover up everything. The one that did to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to appoint the lady who was there presiding over all the sale of the passport and everything. The meeting her so she can cover up. They will do a lot of things to undermine your effort. But where can you draw strength from? The people who are listening to us here today. So to Liberians listening, this is an opportunity. We can get it right. If we, the ordinary people, stand up and continue to remind these people that this is what we want and we do not take side and say, this person is my own rogue, I will defend them. No, leave them to go through the process and come out of the process. If they're guilty, let them pay their price. If they're not guilty, let them walk free. We should not just celebrate and go sleep. It's not sufficient. Announcing a committee, passing the executive order, fine. But it's not sufficient. We need to do more. Ordinary people need to stand because the cartel is there and the cartel is willing and ready to defend, protect, cover up for their members. That's why I will say to you, Mr. Coffey, and to the librarian listening to us. Before, before Mr. Th thank you, Ambula. Thank you. Before Mr. Coffey, that, that gave uh, Fatima Conagray. Granted, the time to speak, then Mr. Coffey will have the last one on here because he's part of the appointment. Uh, Colonel Gray, you want to go? Well, um, to, <coughs> to the panel, oh. I thought he wanted oh, us. To... Yeah, Colonel Gray, you can go ahead. Then we're going to talk to you, Colonel Gray, go ahead. Okay, so, so I'm one person, I'm very hopeful that. Um, Eventually, something will work. Uh, it all depends on the on the people who are placed in, in charge. And I have the, the, the hope that God is ready for us. Uh, he has watched us too long, kicked to the curb. Um, that's why there's no individual you can look and say that individual will come and be the savior of our country if God is not willing to show up. We need it this day. And I want to believe that the individual that have been appointed in various capacity, I just want to hear the, the teeth that will be biting. I want to see the enforcement mechanism behind this whole thing. Because librarians will show up with lots of information about who is hiding what, where, and how, you know, or where. Librarians will show up. A lot of people were disadvantaged that they're just angry. They sat there, their own national wealth. People were, were whooping champagne over cars. People were doing things that librarians were watching. Could not even afford the, the, the meal to bed. One meal, just one meal. And those individuals are standing by, they know, they, they will give you all the intelligence. I just want to know the, the enforcement mechanism. When they say this person is hiding money under their mattress, move there. <laughs> it's likely, it might, it might likely be true. You know, I'm putting that in that uh, um, litmus way because I want people to know that, that how are you going to get the information? Look, we sit on spoon. They send you information every day. How much more are you going to go recover asset that people 
new people who could not afford car pay to go home, who could not afford rent, are building mansions around them. They will give you the information. How are you going to uh, retrieve those things? The enforcement mechanism, I want you to get a robust enforcement team that when they say it's there, move on. You know, uh, and let librarians see it. Uh, let them see that it can be done. I'm not saying that they'll be able to retrieve everything, but they'll, they'll retrieve something. And um, the enforcement part also, you have to look at the, the courts. Look, we have a very, very corrupt court. You bring people there for prosecution, those judges have been sitting down there, they want their own share too. So watch out. It should not only be getting the information, but how you retrieve the asset. If you don't have, if you take someone to court, like the LACC would do, um, people go there and, 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 you know, I think Mami talk about cartel. Cartel is one of the most organized, you know, uh, you know, group to, to plunder a country. They are there, they're waiting. The judges are involved. And you take a drug bar in the court, in no time you see them out in the street. That's a serious uh, country we're talking about. So get ready. Um, lots of people will call you at night, give you information, but in the day when you show up, somebody else will come to cover up. And, and be, be robust. That all I can say, uh, you know, coffee, that's not a small job. Um, I, I would like to see how you guys will execute some of those things. That, I mean, it will lead to be history for some of us to watch and write those in the books. And, you know, kudos to you, my brother. Uh, move on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me bring in Fatima, then Glennie will take us to Alex. Fatima? Uh, good evening, um, CEO, CEO and all of the panelists. Um, and all of our viewers around the globe, I just want to say good evening to all of you. I saw the list today and I was super, super excited. Not only, you know, for us as a people, but for our country, that people were chosen to really do this work for Liberia. And I'm sure that they are going to hold people accountable. Um, they are going to ensure that no one, no one gets away with it. I've been listening to Mr. Coffee the last couple of weeks. Um, um, on spawn, and I think he means well. And the list, when I saw the list of people, like I said, I knew that Liberia indeed will move forward. Our country is all we have. And, you know, people were here once upon a time, a little sh short story. There was an emperor, you know, he came to town and everybody called him the country giant, the country giant. And they said that he was going to save Liberia. But in the end, we all see that he did not only save Liberia, he bankrupt Liberia. We're now going to put our country first. We're going to recover everything that was stolen by the locusts. I used to go to, you know, all race institute and they talk about the locusts, why he came and stole. We'll recover everything. It will take capable hands. Mr. Coffee, Liberia's future is in your hands. And the rest of those that will recover those assets because our country needs it for us to move forward. With everybody needs to know you can't just do things to Liberia and go with impunity. So I'm excited. Thanks to, to our president. I know they say he said, you know, the story is the big country giant king, but the papi held him accountable. He had the old papi who they say will not even make it. He made it and he's trying to hold them accountable. So let's come together and hold this country giant the big town giant, let's hold him accountable. Our Liberian children's future depends on it. So, Mr. Coffee, please, I'll be your next best friend because I'll be singing in your ear all the time. Let's get everything. Condos for the six condo just after you've been there six more when you were asking for gas slip. Let's find out. Please, let's bring justice to Liberian Liberians. Thank you. But, Fatima, I will stay legging it. We swallow it. Why do we try to lick it? <laughs> Granny? I will stay lick it. I will stay lick it. Right behind that, we kill We try, but you're not making it. You know, don't lick it like this. 
Why we keep our I kind of surprised. Sooner Fatima came on, I said, don't run away. Why? <laughs> because when you were talking about the analogy of the money, I just sat here shaking my head. If you because Mame explained a 1700 dilemma to D on Facebook <laughs> and I saw it and I commented on it and I even uh, uh my girl G Glenny put her on there today when I commented hey, I think I got almost 100 or 200 likes on it. You saw it, Glenny? Because I it's saw so it. You cannot yeah, give but, me but, 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 uh, uh, Glenny, Glenny, let me ask you a question though. A lot of people been calling me are back, go in the back, come back. The people are saying this is a big day in yes, Liberia. It is. This so you know why the Donald Trump you're calling? This is a freaking bigly something that I don't want to call because you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. A lot of Liberians, a lot of Liberians happy. <laughs> the justice is coming finally. Finally. But go ahead, talk to us, Glenny. Talk to us. So, so when I look at it, I can just sum it up to say that um Joseph Yuma Boyka is becoming a popular president in a short time. And and how I want to explain that is the decisions that he is now taking with war economics crimes court with asset recovery, those are decisions that the Liberian people have been longing for. And so no matter whatever mistakes they've made, whatever hurdles they've, they've, they've found themselves in, these two things are two things that have, that are, have been driving the force in the Liberian community. They want that. And when you look at the list of people on this asset recovery, these are serious minded people who, who, who Liberians now are looking up to them to bring change. I was thinking, I was looking at the list and I was thinking about Mame coming to, to Mary Bra and, and why is it that she could not even be able to, to, to secure the government property and say, because she's a threat. This is it. This is where we are. Those people who have taken government property and, and refused to relinquish it and, and have kept it as their own. Uh, we wish them well. We wish this committee all the best. We know these are serious people, but not only that, they know that they will be held accountable and Liberians will be watching them to see what they're doing. It's not a same old, same old story. We want results. We want people to, to, to be accountable for taking things that were not theirs and taking them in such a short time. So all the best to, to, to Mr. Coffey and the team, senior advisor, when Martin Colley finished writing book, eh, and I saw Martin, they will be on over there. Yeah, you see, my man in the corner, my man is a vice by extension through Martin. I don't know if he's in English there. And I saw Martin coming here. All I got to say, we were looking for the answer. Thank you. Thank you. I, go ahead. I want to bring in Ellis Coffey because he's the, he's the, the man that people are looking up to right now. So we don't have uh, Councillor Martin on the show. We got to squeeze in. it. Although it is good. That we are celebrating this thing, right? But I guess a question from us, uh, from, from Alex, because I don't think Alex, you know, they never had a first meeting. He's not open to those information. But I really want to jam Alex tonight too, because sometimes crewman to crewman, uh, did you need? So let me jam the man. Go ahead, I say real quick, and I will come with my question. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Before before I quickly make a statement, uh, Mr. Coffee, let me ask you one other question quick. I know you have not seen maybe the resolution. You have not seen the scope of what you guys will be doing. But just to ask you, uh, do you know which period will you guys start from? Like which period to which period matters to Liberia? Which period? Do you have idea? So, um, Isaac, from a professional view, yesterday I I answered some questions from a professional okay. perspective. Um, with respect to the committee's work, since I've been appointed, I will refrain from speaking about the committee's work. Okay. I'm a special advisor on the committee and I will from this moment forward I will I will speak on generality but not specifics on the committee. Okay. I'm gonna answer sure. for you. Let's go, let's go, let's do it in a general form. Um if you were to advise, what will you be advising them? From what period you think they should go to if you were to advise about? Once again, that will that, that question will mean I will be 
saying what I say against Ella that I will not be, you know, talking. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. So, you know, like, uh, Stanton, I know you've been, uh, you, I know you don't drink alcohol. I don't know how you're happy you changed today because you just yelling all around the place. Oh, 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 oh. oh <laughs> so, so, listen, uh, there's a good thing. We know one thing that is fact. This is not for wish hunting anybody. I don't think it's a coffee or anybody wants to wish hunt. I don't believe so. I know this is for the goods of the interest of Liberia. Since it is the good of the interest of Liberia, one thing is fact and one only. The asset recovery, absolutely. We know for a fact, going to pure from 2006 to 2023. That's very funny indeed. For personally, I do believe anything other than that is a political wish home. And I can guarantee it would mean resistance. Listen, if you were to take the scope from 2006, nobody here would. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You said it would mean resistance? No, no, I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. No, no, no. Alex, don't say anything. Alex, I bet you. I don't believe it. Don't say anything. No, no, no. You have to be sure about the show. No, I beg you, I say, I say, I say, I'm, we say with you. Right. The, the entire world just heard you, mommy. They just heard him. He just said it would meet resistance. The, I, I, and I just told you. I cannot speak on it because I'm just appointed. They just appointed me. And you as a saying, with this committee, you are saying it would meet resistance. Well, what kind of resistance are you calling for? All right. Who will bring the resistance? You have seen people that fall from the country. Who are going to bring the resistance? You have seen people that looted Liberia for six years. What resistance are you guys planning to bring? No, I'm not wish one. When I finish, you will take all the time. No, 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 go ahead. If you ask me, you go ahead. Resistance from who? Yeah, I'm trying to drink water. Let's say you have not drank yet. But well, no, listen, no, no, no. I'm water and I'm drinking juice. I dare you try it. <laughs> so, Santa, Isaac, though, with his opinion, is saying what he believes in his conscience, period. And what I'm telling you, you can come here for propaganda purposes. Propaganda was election time. Now it's governance. I'm only telling you that we welcome any good thing to help Liberia. Anybody that would not welcome such thing would not be a patriot to Liberia. Why shouldn't you? The only thing I'm saying is that if you were to take it from, okay, George Black government came and fail everywhere, they do anything, they do as a recovery, good. Now is your chance in your hand. So take it from the period where George Black didn't do it. Take it from no, 2000. It from period? Nobody, nobody here will cut. Nobody, we'll throw, we'll throw, nobody throw a move. Nobody back home by will break. Nobody. The only thing is we want to do things for the interest of Liberia. And since we're doing it for the interest of Liberia, hey, listen, let's cover this period, 2006, 2023. And I'm saying, again, I will say, anything other than that, people, even our international partners, and many other persons- Are you here calling, calling for protests? Are you calling for protests? You get- you get brought in together and that you're talking about? Yeah, you Is that why you guys, you guys are having a meeting at the party headquarters? Which now the same thing you guys oh, calling for you guys calling for the same thing that they give you for hang up. No, is that, is that, is that exactly why you guys doing this meeting? We are winning well, two days. Don't right? be serious for life. No, 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 no. Let me be serious here now. Don't let us do right. this thing. Don't let us say what we want to say. Are you saying you want to say that it's okay? okay. That, that people <laughs> will meet resistance? Are you kidding me? I said, do you can say it any way you want to say it again. If this Please. Look at party headquarters today. Even Joe, where is there? Look how empty it is. Now the people there that will bring resistance, I said, though, we dare you to try it. I said, though, we're not hearing you. Let's go ahead and play this. Let us rest here. The headquarters that they took from you, the headquarters that they could have ruled in the favor of the people that say, give the people property back. Is this the headquarter you're talking about, Ashley Doe? This is very, very shameful. This is shameful. Two days. One right. person <laughs> went here to, to have a meeting. Yeah, two agree. days. Yeah, Look we how agree. empty it is. Yeah, we agree. Two days. We agree. Two days. And you guys are planning to bring impeachment proceeding. That's why we you agree. guys are discussing. 
that a resistor you. you're talking about? Is yeah, that a resistor you. you're talking about? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but this thing here, we need to talk it. You're planning to bring impeachment resolution on the floor because Jose Yuma Buaga is doing the Labyrinth people job, something your government failed to do for six years. Mm -hmm. Bring it intellectual, bring in real good Liberians to go after those people that have splattered the nation and you're saying they will meet resistance. I don't want people dollars on the street. For $220, Labyrinth dollars, $220, one dollar splash card. So let's go ahead to the things that matter to, to the people. You can come with all kind of sweet story from Jakaken to Zubeke and bring it here, no problem. What matters is how the plus are being transformed. Right now, uh, we have Stanton, Stanton, yeah. Stanton, uh, yes, me, started, uh, um, I think though, with all due respect, uh, if you need to ask me any question, uh, you can do that. Uh, at this point, I think I'm, I gotta leave the show. Okay, so but no, before you leave the show, because mm -hmm. you know why you they appointed you, we gotta respect that before we don't want to do anything. I want you to just speak on this appointment. I was mm -hmm. keeping you for last, I got no question for you. I mean, we will talk, we will have you again when necessary, but speak on the important that Jose Yuma Buaka woke up one morning and he said, we're going to do an executive order, one, two, six, assets recovery. And on this, I'm going to select a few good men and women that I trust will go and get back that which is owned to the Liberian people. Your name, Alexander Coffey, is on that list. How important this is for Liberians tonight, sir. Yeah, I think this this is important and, and it's, it's, it's very important for our country because uh, in my personal view over, and especially for the kind of work that I've done in Liberia, you will know that, um, let me give you a little short chronology, right? You will know that I was recruited by the US government in 2006, you know, to serve on a GMAP project. And I was stationed at the airport, even though La Mese at the everybody's work, but I was stationed at the, the airport. That period was for three, I mean, for four years. But in my third year, because of my stance, because of my disagreement on certain things, I was removed. In fact, I was transferred from the airport to Lipa to go do capacity building because I had certain things that I was not agreeing to that, you know, things that today, but as soon as I left the airport, things that today that paralyzed the airport, that I was disagreeing to. I went to Ministry of Agriculture as a consultant, as a financial management consultant. A contract should have been extended to the second year. It was once again, not extended because of my stance, right? And of course, fast forward, I begin the head of the FIU. We led the process for the investigation in the 16 billion, the so-called 16 billion saga and the 25 million. And that caused my departure out of Liberia. And again, I'm faced with this situation. I say this because in my experiences in Liberia, I've seen that human being is not a perfect human being. No country is free of corruption, but corruption has permeated our society to the extent that it paralyzes development, it paralyzes health care. So one of the critical things to attack in Liberia is corruption amongst the several things. So I see Mr. Buaka announcing his, because I saw a lacking in his first speech I saw him lacking his second speech. But instead of speaking, he's taking action. So he's announcing his action through the different audits he's calling for. And now with the um the the, the executive order one that that name that has set up this uh, asset recovery and naming the group to this. Was I approached? Yes, I approached, I think about three weeks, two, three weeks ago. And as stern as I am, I raise objection to certain things. And because of those objections, the process stalled. 
and fa and you know, fast forward this morning around five o'clock i received a call and finally um i agreed to serve in the capacity of a special advisor that means advisor with our borders I'm, I'm moving right i can be in venezuela working i can be in switzerland collecting some documents i can be you know you know like that so i'm i'm a special advisor still have you on your hustle you know i consult them with our i know but 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 i have other aspirations that i mean um this this will be a transition into those aspirations i, I think alex uh, i think for the sake of country that we all fought for a lot of people appreciate the fact that Jose you know what i talk about war crime code talk about the economic crime code those things down the line politics in them people will play with it but what the president did today the committee that he been talking about census campaign time to bring this up and the kind of people that he listed Liberians will appreciate Jose Iman Parker for a very long time. You think how how you think we're going to get this thing? And let me say this to you seriously. Sedition for the past three, four days, we've been talking about impeachment resolution. If the president push us, people that we qualify and we ask for this thing. The argument about asset resolution, make uh, asset recovery, make your boy, how you call him, your best friend, send me Twitter account on Facebook. All right. This, these things are personal, Alex. This is about going for the Liberian people money, confiscating people assets, bringing back something that we have never seen before. So I, I really want you to look into the old man now and we'll have to go to bed hungry tonight, Alex. I said a new day has come, if given the chance, by God's grace, all this well. How much do you think we are talking about in recovery, Alex? You've been with FIU, you've been at the airport, you've been doing this investigation, and you are an accounting guy, you're a task guy. I mean, how much do you think we're talking about holistically? And how what will be the benefiting factor if we don't get one billion out of back? How well it will serve our nation, not Joseph Parker. He's 79 years, so it will just be a legacy. Well, a little 11 year or nine year or three year old that's coming up with everything. And Alex puts some humor in this, man. You, it's, it's you, you get it. You, you get a way of trying to get things out of people, right? So, you know, it, um, corruption has a way of fighting back. And corruption has a lot of weapons. Because it's you know people have money to fight back, and people can fight with all kinds of things. I'm saying this because among the comments and even in my own text message, well, be careful, my man, the mortgage security. There's a whole lot of stuff coming across here, and and I appreciate that that people people are concerned about me, people are concerned about my life, right? So I, I say thank you to all these comments and all the congratulatory comments that I'm reading and the people that are showing uh, care for me as well. Um, but corruption has a way of fighting back. But the, the, the process, and I'm just speaking out of, in, the, in this case, I'm speaking from a broad term. Like I said yesterday, the process of asset recovery could be long, especially the recovery part. Start with investigation, prosecution, then you gotta get conviction, you gotta identify Process of crimes, which are the things, you know, the, the result of the corruption, whether it is money in banks, whether it is uh, properties that you acquire. When we get to the, when you get to the, 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 the recovery part, there are legal ramifications that inhibit or that could stall the process of recovery. So it's, it's, it's a daunting task. It's not easy and when you, when you're talking about million yeah we, when we're talking about money we're talking about millions of dollars millions and millions. i can't quantify that now but you're talking about millions of dollars and um 
you see, I had the FIs before. I was into you know anti-corruption before, not anti-corruption uh, LACC, but anti-corruption generally in Liberia. So th there's millions of dollars. And um, I said, do say something about there was in in the Weir government there was what we call the arrest. The tribe, I could see the love in that field, the tribe are making, right? And I hope this particular asset recovery team we have the love and we make it, right? On a GMB. They what do what, what you think will stop you? You guys can ask questions. We're going to try to quiet this thing now. We got about nine more minutes to go. What do you think will hang off you, Alice Collins? Coffee, you and the team. Now the announcement out. God bless you. You'll go through all the process. What do you think we hang up this committee from moving forward and bringing back the Liberian people money and everything? The only thing that will hold this committee is lack of political will. If the political will, if JMB, President Waka has the political will and he supports this process with and the legislature are aware as well, without due hindrance, it will go on. And thirdly, if the people that are on the committee themselves, they are sincere, they are competent, they have the audacity to say whether that's Tenton, whether that's my sister, whether that's my brother, if you're here for inside, the only thing I can do, I can tell them, say, and my sister, so I recuse myself from a particular segment of the investigation. Okay. Yeah. If they're your brother or they're your mom, you can say, hey, because there are other people on the team. And this thing also calls for more expertise in terms of investigation. And thank God we have some of the entities there to even support this. They could support this process, I believe. So, yes, like I said, again, political will from the president, political will from the legislature, and the people themselves on the committee, their integrity and their willingness to do this thing with our fear of favor, with our bias. And those are the things, if I may speak personally, some of the, 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 the things that I will be you know, looking at myself as a person, as an advisor. Guys, you got a question for Alex? Uh, he got to go. We all got to go, by the way. But Alex, let me ask you this. Alex, uh, I believe we have uh, in our financial laws, we have a statute of, of limitation when you want to audit. You can't go past beyond five years, right? Could that be the reason why this is looking only at the way administration and not beyond? So when it comes to audit, my understanding has tend to be corrected. The audit scope is guided by, by standards. In this case, GSC is guided by the SIA, into SIA, is, you know, International Supreme Audit Institution, the, 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 the standards, right? So it is not a cut and dry fire year thing or whatever, right? It depends on the scope, the, the scope that is defined by the standards and by the law, right? So, but what I do know is that when the audit, in the case of audit, when the Auditor General prepares an audit report, like in this case with this report that we have, the date that is on it is from that date, action must be taken. If action is not taken within five years, then the audit report laps. That's the that's that's how I understand that part, right? When it comes to investigation, from my understanding, there may be no you know statute of limitation per se, mm -hmm. but there could be within the confines of the law, there could be you know hindrances with with law regarding document re uh, retention and, and things like that. So those may preclude you from going to an extent because the document not there. And we know that we've lost cases in the court because of lack of evidence, this documentation. Mm -hmm. So in investigation, there may not be a statute of limitation per se, but the laws will define the law. That's why we will have, we should have uh, legal people 
in these things so that they can they can they can go into the law to define it but to say oh you know you're putting a, a limitation on oh you can't go beyond this you can't go beyond the i don't think those barriers well looking at lra their regulation lra says anything beyond uh within that scope of five years uh it's attainable i think one of the the financial you know uh, requirement for audit especially or for investigating financial impropriety or so whatsoever i was just looking at that so i just felt it's part of the gac as well but you guys are auditors and accountants i'm not yeah accounting documents too, like somebody says in the comment section is be for seven years and you're t talking about uh, um um lria you know so the law can be fine setting it, but for you to say oh the auditors or the investigators say oh they, they can't go beyond this period they can't go beyond that period. no that would that would not be right so again i don't want to steer into the asset recovery thing so i'm just trying to speak generally my question mm -hmm. that's what i need to say Oh no, yeah, that we're closing the show now. So yeah. you, we can do the rounds here. Thank God that Alex stay hanging with us. That whole story about the other report spent seven years you can investigate. I think we need somebody need to challenge it to the Supreme Court. I don't think it has been challenged in the country. They need to challenge it. I don't think the framers of our law were sitting and saying. Okay, my man, I see you, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Alex, thank you. That's what you're saying. We'll talk more, Mr. Alex. We'll talk more. Yeah, thank you. I, I, did yeah. have, I did have a question for Alex, but I don't know if he's in the position of answering the question. Try the question. Mm -hmm. yeah, try the question. Yeah, 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 yeah mommy, yeah. sorry. I didn't no problem. It. But, uh, and Alex, if you can answer, that's fine. So when I read the report, it appears to me that there were, there were some illegal things that were done. For example, the lack of ratification of the loan, the way how they, you know, approve things. So you're moving from the chair to the board, uh, the, the amount of money that were taken out. Do you think that they can be held liable legally? I mean, let's take it, it, let's say if it wasn't like your situation, if anybody kept their books that way, any central bank of a country kept their books that way, do you think that there's enough evidence to take them through the court libel just to say, oh, it was just a misperception of number or misrepresentation of numbers? So you're talking about the other report? Well, yes, but okay. Yeah. You're talking about the recent the recent report from GSC. Yes. Yeah, then we can talk about that. This is okay. an asset recovery. Okay. We can talk okay. about that. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, so looking at the report, there are some grave issues here right now as to who is responsible who has responsibility over reconciling these accounts now the consolidated account is the government's they say consolidated because everything come together right mm -hmm. is the government's account at the central bank yes both in librarian dollars and us dollars this whole consolidation data account came about through the pfm law because we have you know all kinds of bank in the past way in the past we have all right so some of the reforms that are done in ellen ellen government brought this consolidated so that all government funds should be in in account and then government institutions should have separate accounts at the central bank and if they want to have another bank account somewhere else, they, they on the PFM law, there are rules that they have to you know follow to do that. So transitory means government revenue can be collected anywhere, but it can be collected and put into the bank. You know, once you get a flare receipt, they can put it into it. That was, for example, when you go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, there's a bank window there. When you go to the Ministry of Finance, there's a bank window there. So these these funds that come into the bank should be, they call it swept. They should be swept daily, meaning they should go to the the, uh, cent, the consolidated account. That's where government spending will be done from, right? Now, what they're saying here is that the basis for the average opinion, right? Like I said, average opinion 
it's not good. Correct. It means you did not do things right according to law. You did not do things right according to standards. And you did not prepare the financials properly. So it says, for example, you did not prepare periodic, regular reconciliation of the transitory account, right? Mm -hmm. We know that some of the things that led to some of the things that happened to the audit, the auditors, way back in the time, wow. some of those things included this, this particular thing that have come to light, that, that a GSE report has brought to light right, that government revenue that should have gone to the consolidated account were finding its way somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will imagine why these accounts are not reconciled properly. You will imagine why the consolidated account itself is not reconciled. And compared, they all should match, the balances should match. Mm -hmm. Look at the the revenue collected report from the LRA should match with transitory, you add the one at CBL. Yeah. If there's any difference, mm -hmm. then where that where that forms. Yeah. Right? So there's these things that was happening. So when you see that, you know, red flags, when things yeah. are not done properly, yes. the oh. element of corruption is there. I mean, people people intentionally do not want to do the right thing. Because if they do the right thing, they will not, they will not, they will not, they will not do their corruption. Correct. If you put system in place, that why when you come, when you won't do the thing correctly, do the thing about who you who the, who you think you are. Why you won't put system in place? Because the system can even catch yourself, right, from doing the wrong thing. So when you see they kind of report here, somebody must be here responsible, somebody who has. The, the, the responsibility for these things, the president must hold somebody responsible. Okay. And this Thank report is, is like your own, it's the bank statement. You know when your bank statement is not reconciled, you know the problem you, and the, you see the other one is say, consider the number has several stall. You know, according to policy, it, procedure, banking procedure, a check cannot last for more than six months, right? Yes. Stalls, right? Yeah, that's what it means to me. You have that. Then you have several outstanding checks amounting yeah. to such a ton of money. And that's why when 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 President Baka say incumbent, even though we have 20 million, but highly incumbent. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're talking about. There's so many commitments. So we don't even trust that 20 million. Yeah. And that is what uh, <laughs> this GSC report, and this is some of the things that the GSC report is on every has on earth and this says a lot that is wrong with our finances that is wrong don't get me wrong on our Ellen, there were a lot of reforms that was done and a lot of financial system was built i was there i was part of the gma we built system we put things together we went there and that but this very system have been have been abused over the years uh -huh. And that is why President Buaka <laughs> must exercise the political will and the, the 55th legislature must exercise the political will to do what is right for the country and by the people so that the people can begin to benefit from the budget. And the budget is not just supporting institutions so that we must have a day we will clean our country in a way that investors will look forward to coming to our country, that tourists will look forward to coming to our country, so that we can create jobs. And that is why this investigation is important. That's all it. All they will be doing that work, but we talk about investigate special investigation. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So you just leave me hanging like that. Me, I have my own question, but not. Okay, can can we have a question, Fatima? <laughs> my question is, and uh, it's short, so it's short. My question mm -hmm. is, friend or fool? The way I know you, I know you from way back. <laughs> I know you before we started even licking it. 
I want these people to be held accountable. And I know somebody, I care what they do, Alex. They, 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 my question is, even if some of those people ran up, because I not see them buying ticket. I dreamed about some of them buying ticket to leave Liberia. Oh. Even, if they, yeah, even if they travel and left the country, we must follow them even in the hole if they go there to recover our Liberian asset. We should follow them in the, even if they go on the ground, we should follow them and make sure that everybody that coming to government will realize that you cannot steal from government and go with impunity. How are you guys going to ensure that that is done? Now, oh, I told you it was short. No, but that's your question. I said recovery way go. But I ain't uh, I asked the recovery people, let them make sure. Wait, okay, let, let me. Let the advice so that you're putting measures in place. Where they go on the ground, so I'm going to take the ground and take them out. So, and I will ask them for our grandchildren. And I also, because people go around who can make it. For the children, our children, children. God, so I expect your grandchildren soon. I am yeah, telling you. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so when you when you look, let me refer you to the to the executive order, right? It has in the issuance of me as a Republican, right? That means it, it can prevent people through the court, through the law. It can prevent people who are subject to this from leaving the country. Now, in your case. You're talking about when the person leave the country, right? So I have right now I have no reference to the say buying ticket. I will, not, I will not I will not I will not speak to that. I don't want to speak to that, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> but we still don't see you, man. I'll talk to you, bro. Thanks. Congratulations. I'll stay on the show wherever you request me to come. Huh? No, sure, no, I sure. Should. Yeah, but thank <laughs> you very much, we'll man. Talk, and we we'll appreciate it. We'll we'll okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I get a question. I get a comment. All right. So, uh, so you know what? Uh, 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 <laughs> what you name yourself, Bapodu Ball? Yeah, Bapo Bapo Bapo. <laughs> we want to say, man, that was a beautiful show. I feel it's so good tonight, mommy. I know you're coming in. I said, where are you? But I, I, I just got to, I, I just got to say this, mm -hmm. mommy. Please allow us, right? This is this is going to form part of our closing. Let's see exactly what President Boyka asking for here. All of this asset recovery, right? Let's just understand. But before we do that, mommy, I want you to speak to Sam Jackson. This is what, when Sam Jackson saw the names, he posted this. Uncle Sam Jackson, you know, he saw the name, mommy, and he posted this. Do we have the forensic auditors? legal structures, political will to do access recovery? What peers, what level of officials, custom and LRA aid officers with mansions? I beg you, yeah. I want you to speak to Uncle Sam, the man from the greatest economic school in the world. The man that been there since Charlie King time. The man that stood over Samuel Canyon Doe and is called himself progressive. Where is that Samuel Jackson that fought the old system to redeem our country and put himself in the picture and on the picture? He become friends and family member to every president. But maybe this other president here, he, he's not getting through. And he drag and say, but I married a man niece. Yet and stay, boy, I can say, I'll see you there. But here we are. I want you to speak to Uncle Sam. I, I really do. The man he was friended with, Doe, that was his brother, be Doe. Chastito, that was his, 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 his nephew. Madam Sally, I don't know which one relationship, but they had a cool relationship. Joe Weir, that was his cousin. He dragged Bwaka into A and said, Bwaka, no, Drew Bryan, that was his brother. Bwaka, he married Bwaka's niece. Bwaka said, I know you to marry my niece. He forced that relationship. It's not connecting. Uncle Sam putting this out tonight. Where is that faith? If you love Liberia, you fought for Liberia. You were the progressive, the Tipotet progressive, the Bacchus Mafia progressive. 
The church is progressive. Why are you not a progress progressive after this war? Talk to me, mommy. Talk to me. This thing sometimes you hear it, you say, hey man, is that old age? But talk to me. Stanton has said from the beginning that the fight to do this as a recovery is a very big fight. The cartel can fight through many people and through many ways. The post you see from Mr. Jackson is a post you will see from many people, and that's one of the ways the cartel can fight back. They fight through advocates, they fight through media institutions, they fight through the poor people. And that's the reason why they work so hard day and night to keep the people poor. So anytime they want to use them, they can easily get to them and use them. They can use them to fight against asset recovery that's supposed to benefit their life. Only because they are so hungry and desperate that they need $100. So you get them $100, they eat food, and they fight against asset recovery that's supposed to transform their life forever. So the cartel is there. And the post you see from Mr. Jackson, you will see similar posts from thousands of other Liberians. That's one of the ways the cartel will be fighting back. We need to stand strong. He's talking about timeline. <laughs> ah, yeah. We will talk timeline. We will talk timeline. But let me tell them something. Timeline. Those of you who may farm in the bush, some of us did. When you want to brush a big bush, like corruption in Liberia, you don't start from the middle, you start from the beginning to brush and go forward. You don't go start from in the middle of the forest. You start from the beginning and brush and go forward. When water waste in your house, you don't start from in the middle to wipe it. You start from the end of the water to wipe it and go forward. Corruption wasted in Liberia from 1847 to 2023. Corruption wasted. The way to clean it is to start from 2023 to go back. We're going back. We're not stopping to 20. We're not stopping to 2024. We're not stopping to 2017, but we're starting from 2023 to go backwards. The same way when water wastes in your house, you don't start from in the middle to clean it. You start from where it was in front of you to push and go back. That's what we're doing. So don't ask all about timeline. Don't bring timeline debate. Why are you restricting every if you asking for timeline? Why are you restricting the timeline to 2007 or 2006? Why don't we go back to 1980 and 1970 and there been corruption all those years. We're interested in that, but we can do all together. We have to start from somewhere and go backwards. So those of them who decide want to start from in the middle and say, let's go to 2006, it means they have an interest in 2006. We are saying we can go as far back as 1847, but we must start from 2023 and go backwards. And how many times do we have? How many times President Parker have? If President Baca can clear from 2023 to 2018, the next president that comes can take it from 2018 to 2011. The next man can take it from 2011 to 2006. And we'll be going like that. So we're brushing this farm. Corruption wasted in Liberia. We're starting from the beginning to go backwards. We're not starting from the middle. We want to see that. And to Mr. Coffee and the rest of the people, Listening as we conclude, he named all the things that will prevent this fight. But one thing he left where I want to remind him is the ordinary Liberians. They can prevent this fight or they can make it happen. Depending on how they support it, we're begging you, my people. When you hear your uncle's name, just be patient. When you hear your brother's name, just be patient. Hopefully, the money they will recover from there will put tears in the school. We put drugs in the hospital so that when you said you go there, you can get treated. Let's restart our country. When you hear my name, be silent. Don't worry. If I stole, let me go and pay the money back so they can take that money and put cheer in the school for you. 
we're begging you let's consider this as a time to move forward but like i said and i will conclude the cartel will fight through posts like what you see from sam jackson to other media institutions to advocates to government officials that they will deploy in position to set over the evidence the cartel will fight they will go after president Boaka if you want to be strong and show the political will they will go after him but once his people are with him and standing with him he will do it wow my, my take here is uh Colonel Gray. I, I i believe <laughs> I, I listen to our brother mommy but let me say this though it's one of the best things that ever happened under this government that came into power the 22nd of January, February, we're going to March. I think Mama nailed it. I, I don't know what people will say even more. The government beginning to ship up. You know, the problem with the government was the appointment. The appointment is slowing down. As you can see, it, it, it's everybody settling in, right? There's issue here and there. But yeah, that's how it is. Hinge. But the war and economic crown code bump. As a recovery, look at the team members. Let me be frank, Dr. Richardson, Colonel Gray, Fatima, why are we close? The team members headed by counselor, that counselor alone. <clears throat> Sedition right now. You're jumping. Simon Twain is taking his blood pressure pills right now. <clears throat> one white and one yellow. The two small blood pressure pills. Some of is taking it right now. I you know. I, I no seriously. But someone told us my friend. <clears throat> someone told us my friend. Uh, intelligence the shows that it's not a big Wait, wait, I beg you. The pills that end with L O L. Metopolo. That what some of can take. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> then I've no, starting, no. I've starting get a yellow and twenty or see. No, 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 stop! I beg you, man. I beg you, man. I beg you. Metopolo tartrate. You know that one like a little water and control your kidneys. Yes. <laughs> no, on a serious stuff. Mm. So you get it in white and you get it in pink. <laughs> I think yeah, you're taking a pink one. That pink, yeah. No, you get it in white and you get it in pink. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> All depends whether it's generic or whether it's uh. uh hold on, I'm trying to pull it up. I want to bring people to see what's happening to Samuel Twa tonight. When you heard the name, when you heard the name, Councilor Clark Edo Martin, Samuel Twa is in hell. Shit. Because this is a man, hmm? because he couldn't come to America, he tried going to Canada and live in the Arab land. Beautiful. But you cannot go there and, and after you took the Liberian people money. Money. Yeah. And you know, a lot of money. Folks, this is no joke. Samuel Twain is looking for his small white or pink pill. I, I don't know how many of you guys, it's not a problem to take this pressure pill. He need it. Or else you will go into stroke. It's a silent killer. To be frank, I'm sorry for my brother. These are the pills. I know Sam Twain. When he used to take this place pills, I used to advise him. Drink a lot of water, my brother. I know Sam Twain. He is looking for this pill. And he got to take it as per regiment, as, as per the doctor advice. Because he heard the name. He heard the name. Counselor Clark Martin. Counselor Edwin Martin. You know who else is looking for the pill? I can tell you. Samara Wunakoli. These guys now are looking for the pressure pills. And before you take it, they advise you to sit down. I believe Samuel 12, well, not saying, says, sit down. Take away the phone. Don't watch spoon talk. 
Just the pills over there. Send them to any guys and take in. Just see the pills, man. We got to take picture of it. We got to take it down, please. We we'll gave you a few more seconds. Take picture of it, please. If you're ready, we're going to take it down. Y'all let us know. They tell them, say, y'all sit down. Because if you take the pill and you stand it or you go dizzy sometimes, we tell this thing instead. Of, we, I mean, this is what we do for a living. You found someone that taking the pills, drinking Hennessy X, or that one at the president business. Joe, we are is having sleepless night. Feed up bundle. Calasco. Akaris Gray. This puppy will put it. Name. Are you finna taking a picture? I get another thing to share with y'all. Colonel Gray, my brother, this is not a good day for CDC. It's not. It's not a good day. You must run. Who who, now, who taking blood pressure pills? Who want to hear for anybody that taking blood pressure pills? And especially you in government, tell us the side effect. If you read about it, it make you pee a lot. So no, something to right now between the bathroom <laughs> and the living room. He go, he pee, he shake it, shake it. He go, he pee, he shake it, shake it. He pull it back, then he come out, he pee. <laughs> Erectile dysfunction is a major side effect. There you go. <laughs> so if erectile dysfunction is a major side effect, then you go for the blue pills. They want to need V. These guys are they are in bad shape right now. Come on, great. <laughs> Somebody says, see you, let go. <laughs> <laughs> but but I had I, I had someone move from Central Abidjan. They had the border between Ghana and and and, and the Ivory Coast. <laughs> <laughs> to be frank, they just move. I, I, I mean, our, our satellite on them. They just move from Central Ab Ab Abidjan. They gone to the border of of, of Ghana. We know where they are. Yeah. We know where they are. We know where they are. <laughs> We know what they are. <laughs> so, but, so what about Colonel Gray? Colonel Gray, this is not a joke. I have asked Damon to please put up Councilor Clark Edward Mountain. They suffer that puppy. Anybody that knows that puppy, they suffer him. Me, I know him. The puppy get documents that look like the e volume of the encyclopedia. You know, when you're speaking and you're doing literature and you're so confused, you can't write no more. You're not going to Dr. Richardson to help you to write your literature or uh, 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 story and compass here and there, nothing. Then you turn to the e volume or the encyclopedia. They don't have that. It's on, it's on the computer now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the have his own e volume. And that's exactly why, George Brother, we are removing forcefully. Took him out. That's exactly why Samuel Tua beat on him. This is a bad day for CDC. I thought Jose Yeman Baka was joking. When he looked me in the eyes and said, my nephew, we will bring back those things, those Western years. He said it. We will bring back those Western years and it will be a good harvest for Liberia. Look at the Marshall Samara Water Cody guy. Over six of them. Look at the house Jefferson Koji living in. Samuel Tua in Ivory Coast, in Ghana, in South Africa, here in America, and other places in, 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 in the Arab country. In six years, they turned to be over 50 million, 60 million. Then we must sit here and listen to Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson looking for consultancy in that in our committee. Remember, he got 20 pages for how many million dollars? I think it was 25,000. 25,000. I mean, well, Sam, you Sam know Sam he got a bad and buy. Yes, I, I just Sam remember Sam that thousand dollars a page, 25,000 for 25 pages. I want to do my dissertation on him. Shoot. 
Senator, since 1980, uh, Mr. Jackson has used one approach. When, when he's finding his way into government, eventually, once you put him there, all the noise will cease. It was, oh, yeah. a system, it was a system minister of commerce that had, that had left the, 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 the scene of, you know, speaking. He came fast forward to Madam Sirleaf. He had his own share. Come to, uh, remember he was, uh, he, he had all the negative things to say about, about Samuel Tue until he found a strategy that George Ware was his cousin. And then they brought him in. Now he's a big defender of uh, Samuel Tue. So, just listen to him. That's his own approach to get into government. He'll make all the noise. The moment you bring in it, um, you you know, it's inclusive. You can't hear anything anymore. He's done. He's done. I, I mean, guys, uh, you know, this is what we always talk about. We always cry for this. Our country is moving to a place that we have never seen before. So, we ask people. We ask Liberian. You know, if you want to leave, I want to take some phone call, all this good news. What Jose Yuma Baka fought him for? What President Baka fought him for? Or 79 years old man? 79 years old. What more? Well, I used to call it Papa pop, 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 pop. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> 79 years old. 79 years old. It will be 80 years old this year. <clears throat> yeah. Who do you think he fought him for? His legacy doesn't that's... look like doesn't look like he threatened <laughs> to bring in a lot of governments and drink Henderson S O to enrich mm -hmm. himself. Something mm -hmm. he didn't run after for all the 40, 50 years. <laughs> what work are fighting for? Legacy. I can tell you, Liberians. What <clears throat> is fighting for you? The Liberian people. This president committed himself to fight for you. He committed himself to bring back, to bring back the respect our country so deserve. Mm -hmm. The riches that the past government stepped on and took for themselves. Gave him a bowl of rice, Kasawali. He take three spoons, he's done. He fighting for the Liberian people, not for himself. So what do you want to say? Not for his children. Say what you want to say. Not for his beautiful wife. Say your own. Let's beat on them. But he fighting for the Liberian people. That's all he asked for. Why well, you have senators arguing with him? Lawmakers questioning his appointment. We questioning his appointment, of course. And they say he's still, yeah, still he keep his eyes on the prize. Yeah. Because he look up to the hills, where come the help? And the help for Liberia is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm sorry, Aaron called uh Angie Cole for putting tears in your eyes. I'm sorry. Aaron, I'm sorry because this is about Liberia and we got to say it as it is. So to our Oma and our Opa, President Bwaka, Nante, the people them out there say, everybody that see the people money, they will go after them. Everybody that build the BB houses, President Bwaka tell them, say, you'll go after them. And the houses they live in, that house belong to the Liberian people. They will take it for them. The cars they are driving, the government will take it for them. It belongs to the Liberian people. So on our houses, then you can make them all the university they work on the grade. So on the compounds, you can make them all the guest houses yeah. for the state. Mm -hmm. You can make them all the clinics, all the hospitals. Yeah. Government building. Yeah. So then you can make them, you can make them all the person compound. Yeah. For those yeah. that they will catch in corruption. Yeah. The president not only said that this is why he said which is so important. Even those of the, the folks that ran away and feel that they can't come back, what the president say? No, not this one. I want us to put up what the president say. This is well, why we just we just located on the on the GPS where where somebody is, a town called Olobo. Oh, <laughs> eh? 
Poca ma. Why am I here with three bad people? People for two. Come on, move us. I'm here with people there from Cape Mine. It's not looking good. So then listen to the listen to the one two six executive order. He said, "We'll find you. Mm -hmm. We'll spend the money to go look for you." Uh -huh. You know, some of them they are careless. They're in the club right now, drinking and smoking. Yeah, they quite to forget. We'll look for you. You see, I, I really like my friend Samuel Twelve. I don't hate him. I appreciate Samuel Twelve, but I love Labrador better because he destroyed our country. Thank you, CEO. Thank so you. what do you want to say about me? They're your business. Oh, see you go shut up. They're your business. See you, you go to jail. They're your business. See you, you die tomorrow. They're your business. But at least Liberia will live on. And our children and children, children will reap what we are sowing today. And because we stand with by this government, this president, will push him to do the right thing and the right thing is to redeem our country among the community of nation so i i will say to all my fellow liberians keep the hope always think liberia always love liberia and together let's build liberia this is the big news for our country that wherever tonight these guys are, they are not sleeping. They are taking the blood pressure pills. Remember what I told you. Remember I told you. Whenever you find them, they are taking the small pink pill or the white one, I guess, C73. C73, remember that. They are going to the bathroom and going to the living room or the bedroom because they will chase them. They will grab them. They will bring them to justice. It's the commitment that President Barker made to the Liberian people, and they will hold him to those commit commitment. And that's why we are here today with a beautiful news, a beautiful news like you have never seen. More other appointments. Congress, more other appointments. This is one of the best appointments. Among all the appointments, this is one of the best appointments ever the president has made. Among them all, you cannot put foot on this one. Rewally say, President Joseph Yeman Barca Senior House announced member of the Asset Recovery and Property Retrieval Core Team. Property Retrieval, going to great property. The team is expected to lead the charge to ensure processes leading to the location, one, recovery and retrieval of public resources and properties. And properties. Personalities name to the court team who are to meticulously follow and implement the executive order R. There's the one Samantha was spying on. You know what I to call a name to him? He was just spying. Cry! He said, Councillor Edwin Clamante. He said, shit. Chair washing the shoe. Oh, I'm sorry. I take it back. You know when well, I'm happy people, that. People, when people I, are asking for um for Martin Collie. We now know where, where, where he is. Yeah. Ask uh, every time, baby. Uh, yeah, because you don't want you don't want Martin Collins to be talking. You want him to be disciplined. You want him to be quiet. Yeah. You know, and that's a good position he took. But let me say this, and while we close this show, we'll get all our closer in. Um, Otero <coughs> Deloxe, Otero Deloxe, seven seven two again. You're you're not next to his best. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to have accident, right? Some of pressure is hard. Right now, it's 250 over 364. And right now, I pressure. I just spoke to him. He said it's hard on him. He said his pressure is going up hard. And, you know, and if someone to get sick, he can't come to America again. He got to go to oh, Turkey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or oh, India. He cannot go to India. People that go to India don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, seriously. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Yes, no yeah. person I ever went to India in the government came back. One. Oh, no, yeah, the government. No, ni one person I ever the Indian government get on the paper. Ni any one of Liberia government on a president or uh, draw we are ever went to India, uh, 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 they must come back in bags. True. From a senator in the ten. May so rest in peace. Go on. L R A boss to uh, do now. Go on. Must we name them all? No. Senator said he can never go India. He don't trust the Indians. He told me he preferred going to Turkey, Istanbul. <clears throat> and now you get even doubt. He cannot trust those people in, in Turkey no more. But Thomas Fala, I heard he went there. No, but leader team man, that Jaja. That Jaja, Jaja. Thomas Fala, Jaja. That Jaja, man. No, they can't. The people cannot go to those places no more. <laughs> So the, the, the first thing, you can't tell me that the man will go. No. Some of say he's not going in there no more. His friend Thomas do not went there. He came back. He came back, but he came back in a box. May he still rest in peace. Yeah, true. That one, not true. Hey, hey, they had a picture on the president picture of your inauguration time in the city. I talk to Samuel Twa every day, man. I talk to Samuel Twa every day. He can't hide it. You go ask him. You also don't tell the people in red again. They still don't lie. I don't talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my tongue. You poke that in the guy's tongue. I bet what to do with you. Huh? I said, I put in the water to you. Mm -mm. <laughs> they got to live with you. <laughs> Joe, we are wearing quite people that say they might impeach Joseph Parker. They picture that we're showing you. Yeah, the thing that we're showing you. I got there, Joe. We had a call for impeachment. They had a meeting today. The president was in this place. Those of you guys are joining us so late. He called sedition. Those representatives led by, uh, led by Safoko, that they must do an impeachment resolution to send it to the speaker. Okay. And everybody said, well, we don't know what a Funati Kufa will bring it on the floor. But you cannot impeach Jose Imabaka for doing his job. Can you imagine? You cannot. Look at them. Look at the headquarters. Is that a headquarter you know? Damn it. See, you are in a news for all of them selling Dion. You know what you can they say? They have to. <laughs> they have to. <laughs> to be friend with you. Look I at them. All of them is selling Dion. Hey, yeah. You can't do. You see, you, know, know, if you know, you still know nothing. Why are you worried? What they will be worried for? Colonel money. Let me mm -hmm. be friend. Look at this company, Colonel so this is the headquarters of the Guru Kuru. And that is today. That's today. And you, you know, Colonel Gray, at the end of the day, after that, you saw, you saw what happened today, right? Colonel Gray, they sent them this letter to take them all of the compound. Action of in, inject, injectment. And they sent another one called uh, enforcement of judgment, injectment. Rate oh. of execution and another rate of possession. On the eviction now, they come in there now. Everything the they said, I'm gonna go. Yes, the, yes, the document yeah. they kick it to it's today. Today, look at the date. Papa, when I said it the other day, I said, Don't ask me, but when that old people that's the date today. Look at it. Yep, I said, Don't say, Oh, that old thing there, man. This is not old, this is today. The <laughs> president was on the compound when the people are putting this together. The president sent people to the George. 
You see, uh, the uh, joint, let me have this story. The joint yeah. refused. You know, during CDC time, they will send Koji then to go bribe the judge and say, you don't do this. They refuse. Look at the rate of possession. Baba. And look at the rate of execution. Today's date, March 7, 2024. Again, it remind me, my dad's birthday. May he have a heavenly blessed birthday. It's March 8, which is tomorrow. Again, it made me think of my dad even more. But it's today, March 7, gonna agree. When Joe Weir were planning, talking to Safoko, talking to sedition representative that they can bring on the floor an impeachment resolution, an impeachment document presented to Fonati Kofa that they are planning to impeach Jose Yima Buaka because he's going into deep economic crime, war crime, asset recovery. What a nonsense. To be a president of the Republic. Central, Central, let me let me say this before we close. Uh, the sooner we start calling um, George Weir, former president George Weir, the better it will be for for his temperament. George Weir still sees himself as a parallel president to Mister uh, uh, to Ambassador Bakai, president of the Republic of Liberia. That's why he will come into an airport. He wants to use the presidential lounge as opposed to the VIP lounge. That's why we'll go and, and start moving the, the legislature to move against um, a sitting president. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look there, there, there are certain things that this parallel leadership, the moment you start being hard on Mr. Weir, he will realize he still has not done to him that he's not president anymore. Nah. He has that embodiment. He feels that way. Nah, look, I know the woman, the woman is, is slow at moving, but he moves cautiously, optimistically, which is great. But people like George Weir, they don't understand any language of civility. You have to, unless you come hard on him, you know, and, and even start restricting some of the gathering now in line with the law. Let George Weir know that he's not the chief, the sheriff in town anymore. Rather, <clears throat> Joseph Baca is. And all of his supporters Ellen still feel that way that he's still president. Ellen Johnson did it when he was president. So Man, I, I, would say, I, I, I would say this to you, Joe, where I can think, he can walk, he can dream, that he's president of a damn I business. <laughs> I would say to you, the Liberian people move. Joe, where I can have that. No, you can't stop him from having that, man, that you no longer president. Yes, you can't stop him from jumping and calling a bunch of talks and gangster that then they could just go to drink Hennessy XO or the new kind of Hennessy or PP water that a business. No disrespect to him. There will be nowhere, nowhere in my brother Joe will find himself in president again. That's why actually I go against people that support Joe Weir. I love them, but you can never come close because after Joseph Waka finished bringing those folks to justice, there will be no place. Joe Weir's name is on the list. He must oh, give a can. He must give a can of the amount of money, the homes that he has possessed. They will go after Joe Weir. We'll deal with Joe Weir. Joe Weir destroy our country. You do not want to say what we're talking about? Talking who dinner. Give me small chance, please. Are you in a We just came We even talked you. You just came. Give me small chance. You enjoy yourself, Yeah, go ahead and We'll open the phone line. Thank you. Thank you. So. Our Labyrinth people, yes, see more story. Better. I mean, I said, let it have for you. Just tell yourself, better. Uh, our yeah. friends here want us to believe today that Liberia's most pressing problem is the CDC party headquarters. They don't want us to believe that scratch card one dollar is two dollar fifty cents, two two hundred and twenty dollars rather. They don't want us to believe that civil servants have not gotten paid today. They don't want us to believe that everything they criticize during George Weir term is what they are doing. Today, President Baikai was taking a private jet from the Africa Coast, going to Africa. Coast. They had government officials line, line up. They line up for meeting. The same thing they criticize every day. But let me tell you, my fellow situation, you have your party headquarters. Your party headquarters is your place you go be. You know, these people, when they come here and enjoy themselves, you come back at the end of the day, Tell them what matter your rent, 
your salary coming on time, making sure you can afford to go to school, ensuring that your tuition is paid, all of these things, it won't matter. CDC is a political party. You can kind of discuss this in 200 years. CDC got nothing to do with the government. CDC town feeling the, the former ruling party. They ain't to care about you. So they, George, I was there. Tomorrow we'll be there again during ourselves. In as much as people want like the US problem, not to be our problem, but CDC, our friends who thought United Party was bringing them green. I'm sure you are saying that the green is so bitter. I know you will come home. I know you will come home. All of you, what's that to whom? You are seeing what you are seeing. Salaries, no payment. They criticize CDC for it. GSC broad report, confirmed president, we are stuck. They talk about the other thing here. They can keep talking about people. It is not important to us. What is important is how LEC is not here right now. I got my generator on. The AC don't want to come on. Those are the things important. Not what George we are doing CDC party headquarters. It is our party headquarters. It's for us. It's not for, it's not for UP. Then UP focus on leading Liberia, helping the people's life improve, ensuring that increment in salary happens, ensuring that all of these things they promise happen. Not just come and talk CDC. You can talk CDC for all you want. We are good. Our party headquarters is there. Everybody knows that CDC can, we pay our dues. We're good. We can buy the party headquarters. But when you have issue between two people, oh, that me get it, oh, that me get it, oh, A for me, oh, A for me, you won't wait. Let the law settle it. Then you negotiate with the right person. But you are good. Your party headquarters is secure. It is for you. We will set up right there. We will eat our garage there while we put lecture on the government to ensure they deliver all of the goods. So the rest of the time for you, you can enjoy. No, don't leave or and say the rest of the time for us. Don't do that. You know, when you come and say these things and now you want to run, you are saying salary have not been paid. You are lying, brother Doe. You are lying. Go go ahead and tell the person how salary being paid. They probably come to your relationship one day. I, one I, of the people I, I said, wait now, don't I said don't you sell let me finish. <laughs> I, 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 want, I want to call I want to call the nation attention to this. This is President George Bonner when he just took over. That which is what the hell I'm saying. January 31st, 2018. I said, do you want to read it? What? That which is when I hear you because I said, do when I read this one. Which one? It's up there. You can see, brother. Uh, see, oh, this is Hey, hey, give me a chance. Hey, hey, give me a chance now. Give me a chance. Hey, 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 January 22nd, 2024. February 22nd, that one month. Today is the 7th of March. Oh. So therefore, we get one month, two weeks, or a little over one month, two weeks, if I'm oh. correct. Okay. Your president, when he took over January 22nd, mm. right? Mm -hmm. In less than 10 days. Okay. Mama, don't answer, okay, I beg you. Let me do my talking now. <laughs> so what you people don't hear this? <laughs> you hey, will see. <laughs> in less than 10 days, Colonel Gray, this is wickedness in high places. In less what than 10 days. Ching Shena. But when now, everybody, don't interrupt <laughs> also. Everybody doing it closely. Let me do my own. I beg you. My librarian people, I want you to see, I said, though, the way in which he got nothing to say, he shouldn't come. In less than 10 days, when President we are took over, Little vast salary slash and constitutional reform. And from that day to present, Fatima, we are still talking about the weakest maneuver in corruption harmonization. Yeah. From that day. Period. From that day to today, people work in government for $40. And Samatwe and Jowea and Asset don't call it harmonization. From that day to today, the government <laughs> did hold and cover hold to pay civil oh, 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 no, 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 From that day to today, 
They took $83 million from the central bank. But yet and still, they're owing people for November, for December, for January salary. And they're giving us story that the $83 million that was taken from the central bank was to pay salary for two months. From that day to today. And they took it on destiny. Yes, we are where we are. But I said, don't want us to believe that oh no, the Jose Yima Baka government. Say what's going to pay for no, January. No, no, don't believe it. Hey, but I said, don't you say no interruption. <laughs> don't believe it. Joe, we are we're cutting a August, full salary. August 20th, I will close on this. On the break. I said, don't we come and talk about rest issue. August 22nd, 2022. Mm -hmm. Go and look on the Daily Observer newspaper. Joe, we are increased the price of 25 kg from $13.25 to $17. When we talk about $17 for the bag of 25 kg, personal, we are on 20 August 2022, the date, the time I give it to you. Personal, we are increased the price on a bag of rice 25 kg from $13.25 to $17. He made that announcement. Then I said, don't must sit down and tell us, say, the price of rice go up. Because, I mean, would I brought it down by 25 cents? <laughs> I said, are you serious? I, mean, I feel it's an insult. No, 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 don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. I will help you. I will help you. No, it's I an said, insult no. people like me. I, I will help you. Your was in a we market. Never came, we never came here. I said, wait. I said, wait. wait. I said, There's wait, I said, I, I, I said, not politics. No, well, go ahead. No, what, what I got, so, 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 I, I could agree, I need yeah. to be protected, yeah. man. What's in the market for these people, you're a journalist. Hey, you're a journalist. Forget what the man said. Better forget what the man said. We're traveling allowance alone now. I said, no, I said, no, let me finish. I don't know if I can interrupt now. Don't do that thing for me. I said, don't let me finish. I will deal with y'all. I will deal with y'all because we get fat. Okay. Okay. Now, nothing y'all will be doing. What kind of people in the market? Y'all reduce the gas price. Give me a chance. But you have the you have the ability to 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 mute the guy. Center. No, if I do it, I said I said. What you hear that you hear for? You even know, but I really let you alone. You know, you, <laughs> you know why you keep me quiet because you know why I'm about to say again. Yeah, not to be fair. <laughs> and let me say this to all Liberians you will get fair with me on this one. If the president will, will fly private jet all over the country, he will not hide it. And I would tell President Joseph Iman Baka, if it is of importance that you need to fly private jet, tell your finance minister to go to the legislature and let them know. Don't do it beyond Jade. Oh. The President Joseph Iman Baka would not lie and say, my friend in Aricos gave me a, a plane to rent or gave me a plane as a guest room. No. You see no lie in President Bwaka. And to all well-being Liberians, for President Bwaka to represent the country called Liberia efficiently, effectively. You need a private jet, right? It will be a need that if you have to fly jet. private jet, you will fly private jet. That's not no interrupt me. Let me talk to my fellow Liberian no. here. Let me ask you, let me say no, one no, 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 don't do this. Oh. I'm very African. I say, I say, man. So much. There's so much cherishing. They get plenty of money all the way. So they tell they you, they pay. So I say, if they get plenty of money, they get no problem. Maybe when you're speaking, man, when you and Dr. Richards are going to be speaking to me without interrupt. I mean, I would do short sedition on the show. Fatima coming. Well, I'm just, I had to take a deep sigh on this one. I mean, because when people come here with straight faces, okay, and look at us like we are stupid. No, we are not. I mean, we are not crazy. We're not stupid. We know what's going on. 
you can take an emperor painting white, painting blue, if it, the way his skin color. Ask the people in the city, bleach on them. Mm -hmm. When they bleach, 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 they turn pink. As soon as they stop using the queen, it can come back to normal. Can agree a lot? That color can return. So what I wanted to say to the Liberian people is that they making your calling country giant. <laughs> They so call him, they, they call him me. <laughs> you know, so our people and so our people that my people are here to rescue you, are here to make sure the country will be there. They, they thought that that our own car, that our own man, they make it from the village. But I, I want to say something to you. From the, I would say it because myself from the country background. Only the country people have feel like real. I don't want that to you. When Congo people were there, I was there. When I'm a Toba baby, mm -hmm. so when Toba then were there, we had better life in Liberia. We've been fighting for our own, the countrymen, the countrymen. Hmm? Yeah, I said, do the king and do power, and they ruin our country, destroy it from top to bottom. They stole all our money. Sometimes they will go sit in Keke and then pretend to all that they can rock Keke. What a big card and sit now. I said, we'll, we'll come with violence. We'll check the card and buy from you. I said, recovery camera. You can hardly own the bush set. You move the lesson plate. You take paint, you paint it. We'll still get it from you. Mm -hmm. The second thing I want to tell you. Hey, papi. When you, oh, hey, my people. And I was see in American nursing, the man in the nursing room. He can't be the young. Hmm? When they all be the young, the young man. Well, anytime you ready to speak on TV, all okay, be putting cats in our ear when you go to UM. Our papi, they say, no, no, nothing. My papi, at least when he representing us, we can be happy. Look at the decisions that he's making. CEO, may your father rest in peace. But today, today, in his grief, he happy. And Liberia have a sound president to make sound decisions. I think he can speak all that thing he's speaking under your head, but I'm still talking it. Make sound decisions for our country. Mm -hmm. That our country, that will look at Liberia tomorrow. Yeah, Fatu, I saw you laughing. I didn't see these people that call yeah, me. Yeah, I didn't see these people I'm talking about too. Yeah. They're laughing at him. But to tell you the truth, CEO, it's a new day for Liberia. Our country have a little semblance of normality that people will make decisions based on the country. That people will not think about enriching themselves. This is what happened. You know, say what you want to say about Ellen Johnson Salif. Let me tell you what she did that I'm proud of. Her first term when she took office, she made sure that all her foot soldiers went abroad to earn a first degree. High school graduates, they are dangerous to society. Mm -hmm. You put them in power and they taste power and they pay taste money. They will do anything to destroy that country because they want that power. They can't get away from it. Because they know no no more no more regime. What no more people? What no good book? What went to Google school? What no difference when it come bye -bye to them? Mm -hmm. So my people, you did the best thing today. Our people have come together. Our president sat down. The oh man, see oh used to call my papa, beke beke, beke beke, making decision. You can call our papa. Oh, you can say anything. Or a brainer. Oh, the young man said I was there. Papa can make sound decisions. All of y'all. Who think ah they are in there? Oh, they are talking it. Don't look at my papa. Ah, what president? Real president who trying to redeem the image of our country. I want to Ghana put talking ah Liberia, Georgia, so so basketball and football players. They are there eating with me and drinking juice. Eh, hey, my people, are the country you want it? Y'all thank you all of you who voted again. And they said that twenty thousand we agree, even if that far. Beating that beating. No level of beating was, was not to come. We be there, yeah. We take our country from their violent, check it by force. That a rich thing know the world. A narcissist. You know what a narcissist is? Someone who thinks he is something that he's not, but believes in his mind. And you know what insanity is? The stubborn refusal to accept reality. We got one person here. Yeah? His name is Jose Numa Buaka. Yo! By the one. No, 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 see you. I gotta get shout out to all my people in you. Well, we'll come back to you before we'll you get shout out. No, we we'll we'll, no, we'll come back to you. Let people do that closing. Okay. Then you get all your okay. shout out. That's okay. what you say. Hey, man, I'm enjoying Fatima. Let Fatima finish. Yeah, but it's eight o'clock. Nelson got to do his show. I don't want to run into his time. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. 
it was a good show. You know, it was a good show. Uh, I, I'm happy about the asset recovery and also the ec war and economic crimes court. Liberia should just keep their ears and eyes open. This is about Liberia because like mommy said, they're going to start posting. They're going to start crying. They're going to start talking or oh, feeling sorry for other people. It's not the time for sorrow. It's not. This is about Liberia. You cannot let other people's interests supersede the development of our country. You cannot do that because you'll say, oh, my nearly this. What are they, your brother, your cousin, your whatever? We have to move forward. If this don't happen, we miss this. We're done. That's how I see it. So on that note, it was a great show. I want to tell you guys, thank you for attending. And uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Dana Richardson, thank you very much. Connor Gray, can you do your closing? Well, um, Stanton, um, you know, I continue to uh, admire President Buckeye for his moves. Um, you know, uh, it, you know when you don't expect something from someone and, and then they, they prove you on the contrary, somehow that's it's so beautiful to see them. They have all the hopes that our own from Gibraltar will rescue us and then that person fails you. You understand? The reason why some of us are so happy for this pronouncement, these decisions, uh, is the fact that nobody, I think, expected this from President Boakai. Matter of fact, people are dismissing. And uh, let, me, let me say this when I mentioned the idea of including uh, crimes, um, you know, the, the issue of genocide. See, when I went to, to school to do military law, they always say the commander should assume responsibility for the action of the men. If you just leave it at, at, at crimes against humanity or, or war crimes, um, it will be specifically what the individual did. And sometimes it's hard to prove. But one thing here is the difference between... Um, and I, I saw some people who are having those problems, but sometimes it's based on ignorance. You know, when you have not studied certain things, you can claim to, to know it simply because you wore army uniform. That does not make you an expert in certain area. But this was my own forte when I went to military school or when I was in the military. So it says the difference between the main feature that distinguishes the criminal offense of genocide from those of crimes against humanity, war crimes, or other offenses such as unlawful killing is the requirement to prove that the perpetrator possessed the intent to destroy in whole, in part, a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group. Look, people went to mosque to kill Madingos. That's an intent. People went into churches to, to massacre people because they believed that by going into that church, they were saved from the enemy. People pursue them based on their religious belief. It's easier. And then furthermore, I will urge uh, President Baca to start looking at extradition treaty with all those countries that we, we believe Librarians will, will be hiding in. So that this war and economic crime, I will include genocide. You understand? When we seek extradition, they'll be able to send them because we have to pursue those people. And then furthermore, genocide is an international crime. War crime is just broad. Well, genocide, especially um, the fact that most people have suffered genocide, they will prosecute them based on their religion, tribe, or ethnicity. So it's an, it's an international crime that anybody can be nabbed and sent. So if you if you want to give this a broader teeth or more you know more brush, include that genocide there. I can tell you, I'll leave this with the lawyers. Go back and do your research. Uh, if you just say uh, war crimes, look, a lot of people say it wasn't me. I, I heard already one one guy was saying that the death of President Doe, it was not him. He was just sitting down there. You understand? And and those are the excuses you're going to be hearing. You heard uh, Nimla yesterday. 
You heard what he said. They went against us and we start saying he was the commander. That's the guy they referred to as General Nimle, Yaya Nimle, for God's sake. If you go back and double check, <laughs> you, you call him what crimes that occurred with him, Montserrat or Morovia especially. Man, go back and do the research. Look, we have to be able to take this by the, the bull by the horn. And um, I'm pretty sure Liberia will see justice once we, we approach it the right way. And with, with the right approach, we don't have to worry. People will come to our assistance. They will, they will provide the, the fund, the needed fund. Nobody has gone to a, a, a war crimes you know, tribunal and then they, they pay their own money for that. The, the world, they, there's a purse, there's a budget for that. Like Bureau will not pay a cent. All we need, we need our justice. So we can move on as a people. Thank you, man. Beautiful show tonight. Yeah, thank Kudos you. Kudos to man. You got to tell us we got to go. Yeah, go That's ahead. it? You got to tell us second, though. You want to talk? Yeah, so so they've been here. Yeah, they propaganda you always do. Or not to, that, that, the news you brought up, the bad news for Susie, please, please, please put it back up for me, please. The, the well, bad news you brought. Which one? The, well, the last one you said I should read. Please, please put it back up. Please, please put okay. it back up. Yeah, please, can it? So can it. I brought a little of our science as a constitutional response. I'll pull it back up. I'll pull it back up. Where is that? It's there. Where you put it there first, a high rating down. Why you took up a down rating and cut it? <laughs> I don't know this one. <laughs> you alive. You alive. <laughs> I'm not like, shooting, man. I don't know what you're talking about. It's right there. <laughs> You keep the school list. We cannot put a car in, we cannot put a teacher in reverse. Y'all come for me. My I'm ready. Please, can I just give some shout out to the oh, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, yes, yes, I, I just wanted to say to the entire school family for you know carrying my <laughs> niece's funeral life, to my sister Kari Barking for holding on for the entire European community. I'm telling you, it was over 500 people that show up for that funeral. It was so well attended, and we didn't even have to do much. Everybody in the community cooked. I just want to say shout out to the entire community over there in Europe. My grandma, Master, Master Janet, my sister Kadiba King, her husband, Mr. King, everybody in Europe that came out and see, oh, there were people that the riches in there were uh, people just came. They said, We heard you are going to be here. You're going to be. <laughs> we came to see you. It was so good. And Nelson, I just want to say thank you so much for Sunday. We appreciate everything that you did for our family to my my friend was there flustina see bange i just want to say thank you for all of them for coming out just to support our people came from near and far for to see fatu on spoon europe you're, you're my people i really admire and thank you for everything you did for my, my my niece's funeral yo thank you god bless you and god keep each and every one of you nelson you rock thank you thank you dr richardson join us tomorrow don't forget we'll be on this thing tomorrow, we want to say it will be a great day for Liberia. We will be reaching out to everybody to make the news now. The result, you know, remember President Braga promised you, right? They're going to have a comprehensive investigation into the army's wife. Hmm? Yomli Kanga, the protest, the senator, they have received the report. My own senator for Grand Basel County, Yomli Kanga. All the senators within the national security, they have received a conclusive report on the military style protest that took place in the country on the, about the army's wife. So they have finalized a report. Okay? We will be discussing it tomorrow. The report, what President Joseph Yiman Buaka on the 12th of February say, I've opened an investigation and it will take two weeks. That report is done. Who are the spoke to? Who are the core? 
those individuals that were questioned as to what led to the military style protests in the country by the army wife. They will go over the report, they are going over the report. It will be presented to the National Security Advisor to the President, Samuel Kofi Woods, and the President will receive the report. Any necessary action, join us tomorrow. The reports are in. Who all they talk to? They talk to the current acting defense minister. They spoke to the current chief of staff. The outgoing, the man that left, the former defense minister will call him, Zanga. They spoke to the former chief of staff, Prince Johnson. Don't let me call them all, but they spoke to individuals as to what led to this military star coup. And we will give you that story tomorrow. We will. If you know Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence, the most beautiful person from Grand Basel County, the most intelligent woman from Grand Basel County, the most powerful woman, us as up to date from Grand Basel County, the most powerful senator in the Senate. And this no can get very high business. They don't can get very high business. The woman I hold the gobble. If the president of the Senate is not around, Yomli Kanga Lawrence, she has those documents. So I want to say to every one of you, may God bless you. May God keep you. Till we meet again. May God bless our nation. Wherever you are, as you go to bed, pray for the leadership. Pray for President Buaka. Because God will work wonders through him. I'm telling you. He's not doing it for himself. He's not doing it for his children. He's not doing it for his wife. He's doing it for the Liberian people. He got nothing, nothing to lose. Nothing. Nothing. Sit down with President Buaka, you will know. He got nothing to nothing. Hey, yeah, you don't let her talk you. Oh, President Buaka can eat roasted cassava and go to bed. He got nothing, nothing, nothing. He's doing it for you, <laughs> your children, <laughs> your old man, your old pa, your grandma, your grandpa. He's doing it for La Baby. So tonight, pray for him and pray for our country. Niasi. Have a good night. Niasi. Thank you, Yeah. Uh, Have you seen the latest cars in Liberia now? I think worth 125000 for one. Have you seen any of those cars? That's what you got to do your show. We will entertain no argument tonight. <laughs> I need no other argument. <laughs> I need no other <laughs> Waiting for you, Nelson. <laughs> Late night politics <laughs> on Spoon <laughs> with Nelson Kulai. Yeah. Do not allow no. Acid Do to take over the program. <laughs> Do not allow Acid Do to run your show. Nelson, again, the Liberian people want to go to bed quietly. They are waiting for your program. So it will be in the best interest. That you just take acid do off, take me off, and do your show. <laughs> we'll pray for Uncle Joe. And we'll do the best thing because Uncle Joe will deliver Labro by the grace of God. Acid do, say anything you want to say. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> I think I think the zoom the zoom is a hard zoom for <laughs> for. Yeah, for acid. Oh no! You can't make it. Up, you can't make it. You know, my man, to defend, to defend, and ask more. I'm not the one yet defending anything. Uh, you know, uh, cat is two hundred and twenty dollars. I'm not the one defending. Say two hundred and twenty dollars. Good. The only person who making like to understand that the mayor. Yeah. I, I said no. I said you talk about scratch card. You want to talk about scratch card? I said no. You no, want no, to talk about scratch card? No, no, no. Brother, brother, you got nowhere to go. Brother, brother, you got nowhere to go. Hold on one minute. Let's do no, one at a time. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, we're unnecessary. We're unnecessary. We're unnecessary for six minutes. Six minutes or yeah, seven minutes me. or six I'm minutes. Sure I'm with you. I said, don't <laughs> want to talk about scratch card, Nelson. Who took away the people three minutes? One dollar cut. One yeah, dollar wait, wait, wait. I said, don't 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 wait. I Nelson, said, no. I want that car tomorrow and come and tell us how much you bought it. Nelson, okay, please Nelson. go and buy one dollar car. 
No, I'm not answering. I'm not answering. Who wants to make us agree that it is good? All that CDC team and make it 200. That one person. And that one person, he needs spoon talk. He read by needs spoon talk that he didn't want the image you see in there. Now, okay, I said, how is it that today? I said, stop talking, talk brother. Now, I will talk until the sales when he finish. No, no I mean, let, me let me tell my own. Let me tell my own. I said, I want to say each other. The people, the people respect you. You are the deputy minister for football. You are the deputy minister for football. They respect you. I'm not doing so much for you. Who take three minutes? Who take 50 minutes? I said. December 31st, December 31st, 2023. How much was for a scratch card? No, ask Nelson how much you bought the scratch card. Nelson, December 20. Yeah, listen now. Let me ask Nelson. Yeah. Nelson, mm -hmm. December 31st, 2023. Up to that time, how much was for a scratch card? 200, 200 librarian dollars for one dollar. Thank you for a scratch card, right? Yeah. 200, 200 librarian dollars. I beg you, your winner. I, I said, don't interrupt me. When CDC came into power, the free three days mini. I said, let's keep focus now. When CDC yeah. came to power, the free three days mini, right? Who took away the free three days? Call. Nancy. I said, no, put that in now. Let's keep focus. Man, you will talk. You will show your own. Let me talk my own. Who John took away yeah. the free so, three uh, days? It was actually on, on, on the CDC administration that. I joined out with the young people. Uh, but when now? Uh, that 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 three days promotion got taken away. Exactly. And, and there was a little problem. I said, "What's up to you, man? Don't interrupt on that, man." Nelson, you got it. What a cat today. No, I beg you. I said, "You will be. You have the last word, Nelson. Focus on me. I beg Why you. you have last word. <laughs> no, we will give you the last word because I want the librarian people to understand. Who took away the free three days call? Librarians, you who? Who took away your free three days call? Can you help me? open the phone line, Nelson? I said I won't make me to stay on the show for the for the for the last three minutes. Open the phone line. Mm -hmm. Who took away the people free three day call? Nelson, free three day. how much did you buy Dalok no, Nelson, open oh. Nelson, 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 <laughs> Nelson, open the phone line. You don't want to Nelson open the phone line. So, so five one zero one zero seven five is the how number much, to call. Da and the two days, Zaka Zaka, who take three day call now? This is how much did you buy? You got an answer now. We're on the phone. Talk to us. What's your take? Good. Who told you where the people free three days call? Stop calling American people, please. Bye. Bye. I said, don't do the bad. We got to show respect to our follower. Bye. No, 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 no. So we give you, we give you change. Yeah. How much did you buy? One dollar. How much are they buying? I said, okay, stop over there to say anything good. Okay, let's leave that one, my friend. We ask you a direct question. We'll come back. My friend, hello, good evening. How are you doing today? Who took away the people free three days call? Hello? Nelson takes some calls. I don't know if you. Okay, if I have you a call here. Answer. I have yeah, a call here. Call. This person yeah. on the line. Hello, you're live. Your name, where you call from? I'm Segu Kane, I'm calling from Chibata. Segu Kane, you calling from where? Chibata. Okay, you heard the question, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead quickly. Let's hear you. CDC government. Okay, the message CDC government. Thank you. Government. That's all the question. Call. Hello. Hello. Where the people free to read this? Okay, after the one, we'll bring you on. After yeah, the one, we'll yeah, bring you on. Bad. Okay, uh, you heard the question. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Okay, yo, uh, CEO is right. The the three day pre course was cancelled by the realist government. Okay, thank and, you. Uh, All right, thank I you. have. I have. I said, don't bring your call in. Hello. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Let me let me just squeeze this final call in, then you can bring your. Call yeah, yeah. Hello. In. Yeah, go ahead quickly. Let's hear you. So the background from Congo Town Baru. From Congo Town Baru. You got with the three day free course. You say who take it? Who who take the free day? That job, yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Thank you. Doing? Bring a person in. I said, though, I will deal with you on the show. I will deal with you like you have never been okay. there with before. Uh, uh, Mr. Do, can you put the phone on speaker? Can you put it on speaker? Yes. It's on speaker. My, my man, I want to make sure today is March 5, 2024. I want to make sure we are saying it. Look at all the guys. Today is my faith. 
Tell me for that, man. Get, get, no, can you, you get? No, 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 no. <laughs> but man, you know the day. Take call me and I say, today is March 5th. We do March 7th, you said today is March 5th. Bro, yeah, that's me. No, that, man. That's me. No. You can see no, you the words of my rest of the day. Let's not take call, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Today is March 5th. Okay. What kind of plan are you living on? Hello. So today is March 5th. Hello. Hello. Pop for, yeah. Pop for yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, it sounds, uh, my name is Jeremiah J. Kua, Kua Foundation, number seven. Yeah. It sounds laughable, but I said, do the bit. We should have there and, and spray on oh, now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you yeah. said, how many buying that for? How yeah. many buying one of that guy? Yeah. No, the yeah. question yeah. is, who okay. take them with the three? Why is this? President Barack King, the mini of Kremont, to eat it, 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 Thank you. But who took away the three-day free calls? Who took away the three-day free calls? Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know, my man. I don't want to call you. Thank 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 you. I said, respect our callers. I say. That you get the tennis when people call me. Respect our that callers. Man, I mean, I'm praying seeking with you. Thank you. Okay, so let's take another person. Why you trash cattle today? Please. Hello? Leave her. Yeah, move. Yes, how's it going? Yeah, my name is Tosan. Here, and I live right from Pastor in Maserati. Pastor, yeah, go ahead. The three big car was taken away by the Buka Denser, and after it goes, you don't even have to question this person. Thank you. What happened to a woman that you flung the line? No, no, thank you. Oh, that's enough. I'll take you back. Hello? Your name is where you come from? Fasco, let's hear you quickly. Bad dancer. Oh. I mean, that is nothing. I don't think we should continue with this question. Liberians are resolved during that. George Manor, we are decided to take away the people three days free calls. How dare our brother Asa do, Deputy Minister of Football Association slash Minister of Youth and Sport. Come on the show to tell us about Scratch Kai. You suppress the people of the free cause. And that money will go into George Manor we are. You are you were so wicked to Liberians. And you want us to believe that you will preach love when you talk about scratch cards. I mean, this is this is ridiculous, this is bad. I, I can we guarantee you. We cannot live under this condition. I will give you the next two So let's do this. I said, do. Let's do this. I said, wait. I said, do. I said, do. Let's do this. I said, do. Let's look at the time. You want to talk? I will give you one minute. Then you got to give me one minute to talk, right? You're not feeling now. No, my own not feeling. Oh, I can talk one minute and you have the last word. Which one? No, you're not finished. You're not finished. No, but I said, do. We started new now. So help me. We got to go. You want to do one minute? So, what right, we I said, are, don't wait one minute. Go ahead. No, you're unfinished. So I'm finished. I'm moving no, on to the show. No, if you want to go, you can go. But I, I, I will do what, my talking. What the people voted for was not an increase in their lifestyle, but was a betterment for their living standard. You were buying scratch car one hundred and eighty dollars sometime in November. It went to one hundred around one hundred ninety dollars in December by December ending. Today you are buying a two hundred and twenty five dollars. $220. Somebody somehow wants to come on a show to tell you, to tell you <clears throat> that today you are doing better on buying a card for $220 as, as opposed to $180, $190, simply because according to them, three days free call was there in 20, 2018 and then George will take it from there. Now, this is it, my people. It's a boundary trust between the way you live in. Very, very soon, I can guarantee you, you will be having an increase in sale to go Broad Street, to go Red Air, to go Dwarah. You will be paying more. Somebody will come on the show to come and tell you, say, oh, who, who made for gas to be small in 2018? That the question will be asking you. I know you know better. I mean, I'm not actually talking to the very small UP guys who will come and be insulting and things. I don't care about those people. You know, even when Jesus Christ came on earth, said the people will kill him. So no matter what, said in small, little, three, four people will always be rude. But the two of the matters that you know, today you have not received sad salary receiver sevens. But they want you to believe that in 2018, Joe, we had this something that why you receiving salary today. 
Very soon, very, very soon, your school fees will increase. They want you to believe that in 2018, Jory had this son, why school fee increased. It is a bad thing for our country. We really think Joe Kessar, the rescue team, has to be sure they are in for this. If you come to keep having all prices across the market increase, and you want to talk about 2018, what happened there? I think it's a bad thing for, for the people. And the Thank people, you, and they are very angry at that. Good night. Nelson. Oh, you going? You see, <laughs> you see, Asado will run, he will run, and he will continue to run. But he's still my brother. I love him because, you know, it would take everything on Asado to come on Spoon Talk, look into the camera, Nelson, and tell the Labyrinth people nothing but fake news. You see, when you are down, on this great cloud of witnesses, Nelson. And you come back to preach for President George Manning, we are former president of the Republic of Liberia CDC government. The best thing you can do is to be fair with our fellow Liberians. That's the best thing you can do. Do it, do it justly, be fair. You know, the three days free call, you know, it came way, way down the line. They had to go to the Supreme Court. Nelson, you remember? They had to go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court had to step in. It was ugly for our country. It was bad for our nation. And because of those things and many more, the people beat on Josh Warner, we are in the remove him. Liberia Supreme Court finally ends three orange three days free call. Wahala, read the story. People were crying on the street. Some people were enjoying the time having three days of free calls. The president went through the LTA to make extra cash. And you know when this took place? Hmm. The final ruling in 2020, the heat of COVID, when people couldn't step out, and when the wish crowd were operating, then I said, Doma, tell us, say, scratch can go up by 50 cents. The Labrador people would never forgive George Manor we are his government. They would never. We shall remind them continuously. George Banner, we are the three days free call. What actually took place, Nelson? George Banner, we are summoned to order them, set up a cartel. The money they were taking from Orange, the allegation, our sources to us, this president was receiving a huge amount of money. Again, our sources, this allegation out there. He told about three days from court. They had to go to the Supreme Court. They had to bend elbows. And they denied Liberians the right from having three days free calls. From 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, the people suffer to buy a scratch card. That was a bad thing for the country. While I said, though, running, he came and said, scratch your press, go up. But you forget, you brought us this far. You destroyed our communication system. You forget, I said, though, my people, let remind them. And you see how I said, though, ran away? Anytime you remind them, they will run. That's the best they can do, they will run. And allow them to run. Don't call them back. Allow them to run. And let them run. They will run continuously. Because there will be no place to hide. That's what President Bwaka have called on Clark Edwin Martin. Edwin Clark Martin, the counselor. To chair the committee when you talk about asset recovery. That's exactly Because all the guys then will run. You will never hear sedition speaking. All that nonsense was saying, oh, the president is back. He said he would speak on the ills of the country. The ills of the country are coming. Councilor Clark Edward Martin is coming. 
You will never hear sedition speaking. You remember when Legend Story started? It was Councilor Clyde Edward Martin. We talk about women, Smith. When you talk about all of them, it was the same counselor that booked them. And Joel was so mad, he ended up removing counselor Clark Edward Martin. But you know, delay is not denied. You have to get out to get in the calling of God. Go to Abraham to get out. So God was telling Clark Edward Martin to get out. And look what God had for him. Look exactly what he's receiving now. He about to persecute those guys. If he were dead as LACC boss, he wouldn't have gotten this position. But God removed him to prepare him for a better location, a higher calling. Go say to Abraham, leave your family, leave everything, go, go, go. And Abraham was surprised. But when God is calling you, he take you all of them. He take you all of them. And that's exactly what God did to the counselor Clyde Edwin Martin. God took him out of CDC. God took him out of Joe We Are Psycho. God took him out of LACC and see what God set up for him. So we meet again, man. Let God bless you. Let God keep you. Let God bless our country. Nelson, it will be fire tomorrow. We appreciate you. Thank you. And thanks for the job you're beginning to do at the Senate, man. You're doing extremely well. Thanks to the entire team. We we'll welcome the president back tomorrow after a one day working visit to the Ivory Coast. Good night, folks. Wow. Well, uh, we want to say thanks to you out there tonight, folks. Thanks for um being here with us on this edition of the program um spoon talk thanks to all of you who called in we appreciate our folks in radio lane who have been listening um thanks to our partner radio stations across liberia that have been relaying this program um thanks to Gibi fm in kakata my Gibi county we appreciate the team there for always relaying the show thanks to trend radio uh, Trend Radio is 104.7. Uh, yeah, they are there in Grand Crew County. Thanks to, uh, yes, the team in Bomi, Trust FM, in Central Liberia, uh, Premier FM, and uh, of course, uh, Punch FM here in Montserrat County. And then you talk about the uh, frequencies within the Spoon Network, Spoon FM 107.5 FM, Fabric 101.1, and Super 95.5. We appreciate every single person here tonight for your contribution. Uh, those of you who tried calling but didn't make it through, we appreciate you as well. You can come back and join us tomorrow. So we have another great show. The Spoon Talk will be back on your radio tomorrow. It's going to be another fascinating show. This program has absolutely no borders. Regardless of where you are, you can always tune in to Spoon, or watch the show, or just listen uh, using your radio. My name is Nelson Collette. Let me say... Uh, Good evening to you, Bill Nimeni, Billy Bill, uh, my own brother. I uh, hope you're having a great time. And uh, let me just throw this one in real quick. Happy birthday to Miss Abigail Nefitali, uh, Brandon Communications Specialist, uh, Brandon Communications Manager there at uh, Lone Star Cell MTN. You celebrate your birthday today. Happy birthday to you. All the best. Folks, till we come your way again, have a good night. Liberia is all we have, so let's remember to keep the peace. Bye-bye for now.
Who are, who are? 